Get ready to laugh, cry, and rage because we're about to show you the top five craziest story videos ever. From the first kid ever to get an iPhone 15 to a Roblox player who turns into a billionaire. These are the most intense story videos to ever exist. Stick around because we'll even show you a secret video that had an ending that you will never believe. It's still working. Dude, what are you doing? This phone, it's still working. Did you drop it in the toilet? <laughs> All right. <laughs> he dropped his phone in the toilet. How do you smell that? I don't know. No smell. <laughs> no, I put it in there. I'm trying to break it. Why would you wreck a perfectly good phone? Because this thing's an old piece of junk, and I'm tired of Wilbur and his iPhone. Who cares what kind of phone he has? You know who I am. I have a reputation to uphold. I need the best phone in the whole school. Oh, yeah. What was I thinking? You got that right. <laughs> okay, so guys, this is going to be a crazy story about a kid that gets an iPhone 14. <laughs> First off, so I get, there's some other kid named Wilbur who has like a fancy phone and this person's trying to like compete with them. But why do you just dunk his hand in a school toilet? Ew. Ew. <laughs> Don't ever do anything like that in your lives. What is going on? <laughs> oh, we gotta get to class. What's the rush? Wash your hands! <laughs> Lance figures if he breaks his Android, his mom will have to get him a new iPhone. No, Mom, I put it in my backpack because I didn't want to use that lunchbox. Well, if it isn't Wilbur and his iPhone Junior. It's not an iPhone Junior, Lance. It's an iPhone 4. An iPhone 4? Really? Wait. The Dinosaur Museum called. They want their phone back. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, so this other kid is Wilbur. He's got an iPhone. iPhone 4, that's like very old. That's probably from like 10 years ago. Yeah. So why is he making fun of him? I don't know. He just put his phone in a toilet. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least I have an iPhone. All you have is an Android. And not even a good one. Wow, guys. Hey, at school, don't be bragging about stuff like this. Nobody cares, dude. Who cares what phone you have, honestly? Right. Use it to make calls. What's the difference, bro? Right. Don't be mean. Wilbur, what's wrong? You won't believe it, DJ. Lance was giving me grief about my phone. Just blow it off. Nobody cares about what kind of phone you have. That's what I just said, and I look cool like this guy. Yeah, that's true. Guys, it doesn't matter what you have. Don't let anyone make you feel less or put you down because you have stuff and they have a stuff. Who cares, dude? Yeah, I think it's fine. It does everything I need it to do. Oh, hi, DJ. Hi, Olivia. Rachel, what's up? Oh, nothing. Science class as usual. All right, class, our next chapter is on insects. Lance, you're late again. Don't tell me, let me guess. Your dog ate your homework. No, I had to take my dog to the vet. Oh, I feel so bad for your dog. What's the name of your vet? Because I want to check in on him. No, 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 no. My dog prefers privacy. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? Hey, I love hey, these videos! Hey, hey, shout out to these videos. <laughs> they will be linked down below. I have no idea what's going on. So all I get is that kid earlier, I think Lance, his name, is like a real troublemaker. He's always showing up late, and the teacher always says, oh, what's your excuse this time? He doesn't have his homework. He's a real troublemaker. Mm-hmm. Did you see they're doing tea night at the Rocket Bowl this Saturday? Cool, are you going? Yeah, I already asked Zoe Carter. But what about you? No, I really haven't thought about it yet. The first insect we're going to be studying is the Gorilla Day. Who can tell us what that is? Oh, I got it. I got it. Okay, Chip, tell us what it is. Oh, it's a common cricket. That's right. Next, who can tell us what the smallest insect in the world is? I know, I know, I know, I know. You got it? What is it's it? A, it's an ant. <laughs> Probably, right? All right, let's see if Justin's right. Wilbur's iPhone. <laughs> 
still picking on him for his iPhone 4. That's not cool, why? guys. Why? Dude, who cares? Also, why is this uh, girl dressed as a Roblox noob? <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? That's not an insect, Lance. Now, Lance, let's keep the humor out of the classroom. Well, I would, but Wilbur's little and he's bugging me. Hmm? Okay, moving on. Now, before next class, I want you all to go to the library and research the smallest insects in the world. Hey, Wilbur, I guess you look like a fool in front of the whole class today. Don't worry about it. He's just trying to get under your skin. Hey, Olivia, uh, are, are, are you guys doing anything this weekend? Uh, no. Did you have something in mind? Uh, um... Uh... What? <laughs> <laughs> what is going on? These videos are crazy because something happens and then <laughs> something else totally random happens. So I guess there's a lot going on, guys. Wilbur and Lance are just yelling at each other about their phones, which who cares, all right? But then there's also like some like, it's a bunch of dates going on at like some sort of like bowling party. Right, guys, and keep watching because we're going to get to see what the iPhone 14 looks like. Now, at the time of this video, the iPhone 14 has not been released yet. So whoever got it first, they got it straight from Apple. Are you sure you want me to do this? Yes, there's no other way to break this thing, man. All right, put it under there, man. What? Okay, wait for my signal. No, don't, that's dangerous. Don't do that. Don't do that. Never do that. Okay, come on. Are you insane? Are you insane? <laughs> <laughs> what are they doing? Why are they trying to break it? He's trying to break his potty phone. Oh, so because he wants a new yeah, iPhone. So his mom will buy him a new one. All right. Don't ever do that ever, guys. Be thankful for what you have. That's insane. Oh, no. Somebody broke my phone. Hey, Mom. Can I talk to you? Sure, Lance. How was school? School was school, but there's this kid teasing me about my phone. I think it's time I got a new one. New phone? Didn't I just get you one last year? No, you got it for me when I was 13. It's been broken for years now. And I figured out a way you can get me one for free. Free? There's no such thing as free. Yes, there is. If we switch to Verizon, they'll pay for me to get a new iPhone. If we go with them, they'll give you a new iPhone? It's an incentive. If you switch, they'll even give you one too. I don't know what's going on. Can you explain? <laughs> Can you explain what's going on? My brain is not following this <laughs> So he's trying to get the new phone and he's trying to convince his mom right now to get it for him. I guess he has some hookup with Verizon? He, he's trying to finesse his own mommy. Wow. He's trying to convince her to do something. I don't understand to get a new phone. Okay, some sort of deal to get a phone, I guess, right? A new phone? Okay, Lance, I'll see what I can do. Thanks, Mom, because this kid's really hurting my feelings. Guess what? My mom's getting me a new iPhone. Can you handle that? I thought you were more of an Android guy. Who do you think he's talking to? Android, iPhone, I speak it all. Oh, I wish I could have the new one. All I have is my brother's old 7 Plus. At least you have a... Oh, look! If it isn't walkie-talkie Wilbur. What do you want, Lance? Want? What does the man who has everything want? Nothing. You have everything? What is that supposed to mean? I forgot. Your iPhone Junior probably doesn't get social media. Because they're all talking about it. I'm getting an iPhone 13. Oh yeah? Well, I've been saving up for one myself. In that case, I can tell you how to get one faster. Oh really? How's that? Well, get yourself an iPhone 9, and then tape it to your iPhone 4. And then you'll have a 13. <laughs> that's, actually, that's pretty smart. That's pretty smart. I don't think that's how that works, but that was a pretty good diss. Wow. A pretty good diss. Good one, Lance. So funny, I forgot to laugh. Besides, there's no such thing as an iPhone 9. You know, technically he's right. There is no such thing as an iPhone 9. Uh, uh. 
Well then get the 10, and then you'll be the first one to have a 14. Are you for reals? Don't listen to him. Let's just get to class. <laughs> dude, what's Lance's obsession with getting an iPhone? That's what I'm saying, dude. Why does he care? What is going on? <laughs> Just chill out, guys. Isn't this the one who drove over his phone? <laughs> what? What's going on? And what was the whole thing about the bowling alley? I'm so and, the, and wanting to, to date the girl? Yeah, I don't understand. <laughs> I feel like I'm dreaming right now, bro. Yeah, he should just stick with Android like us. Oh, you didn't hear? We broke his old phone on purpose. Just to get an iPhone? Not just any iPhone. He wants a new iPhone 13. <laughs> uh... Hi, Olivia. <laughs> hey, guys. <laughs> Have you seen Rachel around anywhere? Oh, Rachel? She's at volleyball practice. What's going on? Did you hear they're having a team party at the Rocket Bowl on Saturday night? Yeah, and I was kind of, sort of, hoping to ask someone. DJ, are you asking me to go with you? If you're going to be there, and and I'm, I'm going to be there, then we can both be there at the same time. Yeah, I'll go with you. Really? You know, Wilbur, you should really ask Rachel, too. I bet she'll say yes. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna do that, except uh, she's at volleyball practice. Well, why don't you FaceTime her after practice? I'm sure she'd like to hear from you. FaceTime? You need an iPhone 6 to do FaceTime. Oh man, now it's all coming together. He wants to ask out the girl of his dreams, but the iPhone is not. <laughs> hey, how about you just walk up to her and ask her, dude? Yeah, real life FaceTime. You only got an iPhone 4. Yes, I know. Well then, maybe you can catch her at school tomorrow. Maybe I will. You need to get a new phone, like Lance. I don't want to hear about Lance. Oh my gosh, Mom! Did you get me a new iPhone? That's right, son. I took your advice. Now go ahead and open it. Thanks, Mom. Even though it's not the Pro. I don't know what a Pro is, but I got you a new iPhone. That's what you wanted. Thanks. Now Wilbur won't tease me anymore. Okay, wow. Shout out to the mom. She's real nice. But guys, do not think that works in real life. If you break your phone, your parents are not just going to buy you a new one. This is nuts. Right. I'm sorry, son. Kids can be so cruel in high school. I remember that. Well, not with awesome moms like you. Hey, everyone. Have you seen my new iPhone 13? That's not an iPhone 13. Yeah, it is. What makes you think it's not the 13? The 13 has three cameras. Yeah. Besides, on the 13, the cameras are arranged differently. Oh, yeah? Well, I special ordered mine, so they made it to my own specifications. Stinks for you, then, because I already asked my mom for a real <laughs> iPhone 13. Well, you're going to have to wait a couple years till the 14 comes out. I already got you beat, walkie-talkie Wilbur. Man, what's going on? Bro? It's getting heated. It's getting crazy, guys. Wow. Guys, like we said at the start of the video, who cares what phone you have? Don't let people put you down. I don't understand. You think, you think the guy Lance got scammed by his own mom? I don't know, guys. All I know is something's going down in this classroom. Yeah, yeah. All right, class. For this next project, you're going to be taking close-up photos of insects and for that I have this special close-up camera for you to use oh cool fun I want to do it me too can I use my new iPhone 13 instead yo <laughs> it's so cringe can yo. we see that again yo she said you gotta take photos Cool, yes, me too. <laughs> What's going on, bro? Hold on, bro. Oh, cool. Fun. I want to do it. Me too. 
Hey, yo. He's just flexing. Guys, don't do this. Don't be that guy at school flexing, dude. Who cares? Can I use my new iPhone 13 instead? It has a special close-up lens. Well, Lamps, that doesn't look like an iPhone 13. Besides, you have to use my camera because it uses film. Well, it is, but whatever, Teach. Looks like she has your number. Quiet, Wilbur. You're just jealous. Wait, what? <laughs> so it's not an iPhone 13. He got scammed by his own mom. Let's see what happens. Hey, yo. Dude, Lance is giving you a really hard time about your phone. That's the same character as early. They just got a new haircut. Oh, nice. Okay, got a new haircut to go ask out Rachel. Gotta look nice. Okay. Yeah, I know. It's really getting on my nerves. Oh, dude, not in the lunchroom. I can't help it. That's what happens when I'm stressed. <laughs> What's going on? I'm not watching this. What's going on? <laughs> Play that again, let me you see want, that. You wanna play it again? Yeah. All right, let me turn up the volume for you, dude. It's really getting on my nerves. <laughs> okay. What's going on? What's going on? He about to ask out that girl. He's getting against me, dude. <laughs> Guys, I love these videos. Yeah, I know. It's really getting on my nerves. Oh, dude, not in the lunchroom. I can't help it. That's what happens when I'm stressed. Well, you gotta figure out a way to one-up Lance. Yeah, the last thing I want is for my nerves to get the best of me. Yeah, that's for sure. I can't believe Lance is giving me a hard time about my four. Four? What do you mean four? The iPhone four. All he does is brag that he has the new 13. Wait, how Where is this video going? How'd they grow the hair back? <laughs> So fast. I'm so lost. I don't know what the insects have to do with anything. I don't know what the bowling party has to do with anything. And I definitely don't know what the party has to do with anything. I feel like I'm literally dreaming right now. All right, we gotta keep going. He probably doesn't have a 13. You know he's lying. Well, everybody thinks he does, and I need to one-up him. Well, how do you expect to do that? The iPhone 13 is the best one out right now. That's why I need the iPhone 14. Good luck. They're probably not even coming out till Christmas at best. Well, you know they gotta be making prototypes already. Well, what are you gonna do? Break into Apple headquarters and go take one? Hmm. That gives me an idea. No, what idea could that be giving you, bro? Wow, no. so they might try to sneakily get the iPhone 14, then they can FaceTime the crush and flex on Wilbur. Even though, okay, yeah, even though that makes no sense, okay, okay. FaceTime. Lance, why are you FaceTiming me? Because that's what you do when you have the new iPhone. Oh my goodness, he about to steal the girl because he got FaceTime. Wow, so the girls get a date whoever has FaceTime. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's how that works in real no, life. that works, bro. <laughs> What's going on, bro? Well, FaceTime must feel pretty new to you, but it's no big deal to me. So anyway, what do you think? Is this my good side or is this my better side? Uh, they look kind of the same. Oh, so you think I am good looking. Anyway, I was wondering about Saturday night. What about Saturday night? Well, you know they have teen night down at the Rocket Bowl. Wait, her reflection's in the phone. <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, she's in the phone, dude. What's going on, bro? You guys see that, bro? Is that a ghost, bro? Take it back. Hold on, hold on. Let me, let me hold on, hold on. Well, you know they have teen night down at the oh, rock. Oh, yeah, she's right there. Is that a ghost? So they're literally FaceTiming like two feet away. Hey, Justin, is this my good side or is this? Hey, you look cringy, Bo. <laughs> Wanna go to the Rocket Bowl? Yeah. <laughs> I'm like so... So confused. I've never been this confused in my life watching YouTube video. This is new for me, guys. Anyway, I was wondering about Saturday night. What about Saturday night? Well, you know they have tea night down at the Rocket Bowl. I was wondering if you wanted to be my personal waitress. Are you asking me out? Because I'm. Rachel, I'm... I need you! 
I gotta go. My dad needs me. Bye. Lance wants to take Rachel to the teen party, but so does Wilbur. But who will she choose? Bro, don't tell me she's gonna choose whoever has the newer iPhone, because that's not how it works, guys. I don't know. We're gonna find no, out. That's not how life works. It doesn't matter. This is this is crazy. <laughs> Yeah, looks like water resistance is holding up all the way down to 100 meters. Okay, <laughs> okay what is going on now? Oh, wait, this is like the Apple headquarters. They're testing the water uh, like resistance of the new iPhone oh, prototype. I thought we were in like Poppy Playtime Factory and they're making EXE or something. Yeah, look at the thing on his neck. It has the Apple logo. Oh, he's an Apple employee. Okay. Okay, 15 atmospheres will do. Hi, uh, are you uh, a- <laughs> <Hey, yo. laughs> So this kid pretended to dress like an Apple scientist to sneak in and steal the new prototype of the iPhone 14. <laughs> So he can flex on yeah, the guy that yeah. dropped his phone in the toilet in the potty, and yeah. then ran it over with a car. And then ask out the girl of, of his dream. Right. This is... <laughs> uh, Chet. Yeah? Who are you? I'm Wilbur. They just sent me from headquarters. Headquarters? What are they doing sending someone down here? I'm here to pick up one of the 14s. You know, the prototypes. 14? Uh, we don't call that here at the lab. It's Project Mercury. Project Mercury. Yeah, that's what I meant. I'm gonna need one. I can't give you one of those. It's above my pay grade. You're gonna need authorization from testing. Oh, testing. Why do you think I'm here? Oh, uh, sorry, Mr. Smith. I thought we already tested everything. Uh, water resistance, performance, screen breakage. What else is there? Uh, I need to test it for, uh, sun damage. Sun damage? We don't test it for that. Well, that's what HQ wants for the 14. I mean, Project Mercury. After all, Mercury is the closest planet to the sun. Well, if that's what the honchos upstairs want, I'll go get you one. Oh, no worries. I'll just take this one here. Oh, no, 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 no. That's the 13. This is the prototype. <laughs> That's the new iPhone 14! They just leaked the new iPhone 14? Wow, so it has four cameras and like a little touch screen on the back. Guys, that's real! They actually went to Apple headquarters and somehow bro. got this footage. Bro. That's crazy. This is nuts, bro. I guess he's just gonna walk out of there with that Your thing. insect pictures came back. They're on your desk. And let's start with the presentations. Rachel, why don't you go first? This is the Cecropia caterpillar. This bright colored, surreal looking creature will eventually turn into North America's largest moth. Excellent, Rachel. Now we're gonna go to Chip. You're gonna love this, Teach. So this is a nut weevil. This particular bug loves hazelnuts, pecans, and all sorts of other favorite snacks. You gotta be careful though, they'll invade your food supply. And uh, that's how I got this picture. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, can I see that again? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> They'll invade your suit supply. They'll invade your suit food supply, and uh, that's how I got this picture. This is definitely real. This is not acting. <laughs> this is not acting. This is real. This is real life. He actually got an iPhone 14, bro. Yeah. I can tell. Chip, very enlightening. Now let's go to DJ. This is the woolly bear caterpillar. This little creature is so soft and dainty, it- What are you real insects? I don't- <laughs> <laughs> The snack weevil? I don't understand. <laughs> Why? That he's matching. <laughs> <laughs> he's cosplaying as the weevil. <laughs> I'm cosplaying as Boxy. Oh yeah, and I'm Boxy. Yeah. Wow. When it emerges from its cocoon, it becomes a tiger butterfly. Legend has it, it, the bands on the butterfly can predict how severe a winter will be. The more black, the worse the weather. <laughs> wow, I didn't know that about the weather. I learned something even in my own class. Now we're gonna go to Olivia. The praying mantis is just one of the most hardcore bugs out there. What is this video? 
<laughs> Half is about bugs! <laughs> What? Are they gonna show every student's present? Are we actually trying to learn about bugs? What's going on? <laughs> Look at him, bro. That's me right now. Are you serious? What is this? Olivia. The praying mantis is just one of the most hardcore bugs out there. They kill other annoying moths and flies, they have the best facial <laughs> expressions, and sometimes the females of the species eat the males after mating. That's very interesting, <laughs> Olivia. Next, we're gonna go with Wilbur. This is the blue stink bug. Despite stink being in its name, it only releases its stench when it feels it is in immediate danger. Just like you. <laughs> Got him! Wow! Get yeeted on, bro! Need some ice for that Yo, bird! Get yeeted on, bro! I was gonna say, what had to do with the farting? But it all built up to that line. All the stuff about the bugs, all the stuff about the farting, it was just for that one line. <laughs> And look at that so, face. It's like you. Wow. It's like you. <laughs> oh yeah? You smelt it, you dealt it, Lance. Maybe we should take this up after class. Well, speaking of after class, I have a video that I made of insects that I'd like to share with everyone. <laughs> Before we do, I'd like to see Lance's presentation. <laughs> My presentation is on this. What? A pile of <laughs> What's happening? A pile of body. It's just a pile of dirt. It's a pile of body. <laughs> What's going on? Oh man. What's going on, dude? My presentation is on this. What? A pile of dirt? <laughs> no. This is the common garden ant. They burrow for their homes. As you can see, there are many presented here. Wow, you really had to go a long way to get that. Like your backyard. <laughs> quiet, Wilbur, before I make you move in with them. Lance, I'm quiet before I give you detention. <laughs> this is threatening to bury you? Guys, I what cannot stop laughing. My eyes are just, like tearing Before up. You might make it move in with the ants. <laughs> what is he saying, bro? What happened to the iPhone 14? I don't know, bro. I don't understand. Quiet before I give you detention again. <laughs> now, Wilbur, I'd love to see that video you made. Why don't you show us? Why, sure. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? What's going on? Dude. What's going on? This man made a film about insects, bro. This is the What's greatest that? video I've ever it's seen. It's one of the best videos on YouTube, like, straight up, bro. Wow, Wilbur, that was just amazing video quality. How did you film that? Oh, I have the new iPhone 14. <laughs> <laughs> oh bro, this is the new, new advertisement for iPhones right here, bro. I wonder if Wilbur can give me one. Me too. Mine's only got three cameras. Hey, Lance. What? Did you hear? Wilbur's got a new iPhone 14. Yeah, he's the only one in school. Yeah, I know. The question is, how did he get one? He's got to have some sort of contact at Apple. It must be a prototype. Really? How can you tell? That's easy. They're usually marked somewhere. Yeah, it says top secret or pre-production or something like that on the side. Oh, really? Well, I'm going to go find out. Hey, Wilbur. What do you want, Lance? Let me see that phone. I'm not going to give you my phone. Wait a minute. Whose picture is that? Is that Rachel? Oh yeah, it is Rachel. We've been FaceTiming, uh, about school. And based on these messages, it looks like it's a lot more than just school. I don't think so. We're not dating. I knew it! He's my boyfriend. <gasps> okay, alright! 
Why? So she'll is dating him because he has the iPhone 14. She's an iPhone <laughs> gold digger. Yeah, that makes sense. Mm. Oh, and he's dating her. All right. That's <laughs> me right now. Bro. <laughs> All right. Oh, look what we have here. Russell's backpack. I wonder what he's got inside. No, 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 right away. Eh, this is big. No, no, that's not his backpack. It doesn't sound like it sounds like it's someone else's backpack. Oh, yeah, let's find out. Don't look at other people's stuff. Oh, look. You should never leave your laptop unattended. Hey. What? <laughs> What's going on? That's enough for me. What? <laughs> What's going on? Okay, guys, these videos are lit. They're gonna be linked down below. He just said, ah, that, oh, only one sip. <laughs> That's enough for me, guys. You gotta calm down. <laughs> oh, man, this is gonna be a good video. Make no sense, bro. We're about 10 seconds in the video. This guy just chose violence for no reason. He just oofed that laptop for absolutely no reason. What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> Sound like talking to him. Russell's so lucky I'm around to teach him life lessons. What? <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> Time for Pet Simulator X. Great. Let's do the tech world. Okay, and now he just playing Roblox. He playing Pet Simulator X. In a cookie factory just, or something. Yeah, he's okay living my dream. <laughs> he just destroyed someone else's property, which you should never do, and is now just playing Pet Simulator X, okay? Wow. No, we're playing fantasy. Fine. Let's hatch some eggs. None of these basics. I want the rare ones. Yeah, who doesn't? Got a corgi, black bear, golden tiger. That's lame, I'm looking for a legendary. Hey, I see you guys are playing Roblox. That's right, Pet Simulator X. Yeah, Russell, you should join us. I uh, I think your laptop's in your backpack. No! <laughs> that's Russell! That's, that's the guy whose laptop got poured juice on. And he's making fun of him, he's like, I think your laptop's in your backpack, check it out. Now remember guys, this video is titled, Kid Becomes a Roblox Billionaire After His Account's Deleted. So, this is gonna get nuts. This is nuts already. Okay. What is this? My laptop's ruined! Oh, looks like Russell wants to play Ocean World. I don't think so, Brock. That's not funny. Obviously, he did that on purpose so he doesn't have to play against us. Oh, yeah. I'd ruined my laptop on purpose. Russell, man. What are you going to do now? Man. Oh, boy. Russell, what is he going to do now? <laughs> makes no sense. I don't know. I'm writing a Roblox game. It's a good thing the files are online. He's developing his own Roblox game. Wow. Okay. Oh, you are? Well, you better get a diaper for whatever computer you use. Very funny, Brock. All I can say is when my game's done, you're going to stink at it. That is so cool you're writing a game. <gasps> when can I play it? It doesn't matter, Dylan. He's only writing that game because he's the worst at every other one. Oh yeah? Well maybe you and I should do a competition one of these days. Maybe we could do it in a swimming pool so that you will always win. You know what? I'm out of here. I'm gonna write my game at home. <laughs> okay guys, so this guy's about to make his own Roblox game because these guys don't want to play with him. No, no, what are you talking about diapers? <laughs> what are you talking about diapers, bro? What's going on? Bye bye Aquaman. Dude, don't you think you're being a little harsh? <sighs> Russell's laptop is broken and he doesn't know who did it. He's going to have to find a different computer to build his game on. Hey, could you guys teach me how to play Brookhaven? Sure. No, I got it. Why is this all wet? Oh, that's Russell. He's messy. Don't pay attention to him. Now that I have my shanty next to my cove, I'm going to put the spawn point on the other side of town. Here. Oh, Russell. Why are you using my laptop to do your homework? Uh, I left mine at school. Oh, okay, so he borrowed his mom's laptop. That's like what we do to make these videos. And he's making a Roblox game, and it looks pretty lit. I bet his game is going to blow up. Dude. 
that's how he might become a Roblox billionaire. Wow. Uh, I'm using yours so I can build my homework. Oh, really? What you working on? Uh, history. That's not history. You're playing a game. I'm not playing a game. I'm writing one. Making, playing, there's no difference. I told you, you cannot play games till all your homework is done. Oh man, she thinks he's playing Roblox. He's writing a Roblox game. It's different. Wow. Bro. Mom, I'm already getting all A's and B's. No, you're not. You're only getting a C in history. History? Who cares? The future is technology, not history. And just how are you supposed to learn about the future if you don't know about the past? Fine, I'll do my history. But I am going to be a big game developer someday. Well, that's more like it. Respect, dude. He's got dreams. I like that. I respect it. He's got the drive. Even when his laptop gets sabotaged by someone, he borrows his mom's. He finds a way to win. I like that. Let's go. Dude, what you working on? It's my new game. I'm calling it Quest Forever Lost. Looks cool. What's it going to be like? Well, it's set in the Middle Ages. Imagine a fantasy land that you can explore and participate in epic adventures. Wow. Where'd you get that idea? I came up with it myself. You've got like an ocean and village and, and people? How do you do that? Roblox has a powerful developer toolkit that I've tailored to my needs. So then I move it here. Hey, what are you guys doing? Russell's showing me the Roblox game he's building. No doubt he has to build his own because he doesn't know how to play. That's what you think. All you're going to ever be able to do is play games while I am going to make them. Well, at least I know how to play them, unlike you. Brittany, as if I even need to tell you, you got an A. Oh, wait, did I miss one? I'll do better next time. I see a couple of areas where you could improve, but otherwise... Great job, Dylan. Okay, so I'm I'm trying to follow the plot. It's a little <laughs> it's a little bit quick. So back there in that earlier scene, the meanie came back and was like, "Haha, you make games because you're bad at them." Okay, and him and Russell were arguing. Now it looks like the teacher is giving everyone their homework back. Right. Do you think Russell did good in school or bad in school? I bet he probably did bad because he wasn't doing good in history, and I think this is history oh, class. Oh no! B plus. <sighs> All right, Brock, 71%. I mean, C minus. 71%, that's passing, right? Uh, yeah. Yes, all right, sweet. Russell, on this test, you got a D plus. I mean, you're gonna have to pull this grade up. I'm doing really well in all my other classes. Well, if you can't do better in my class, you're gonna have to retake history. I can't retake history? What am I gonna do? Well, have you considered getting a tutor? I can offer a few referrals. Yeah, man, whatever it takes. Okay, respect. See, Russell wants to try hard. He says, I'll do whatever it takes to do good at school. Respect. Russell is a good role model, bro. He's got his mind on the grind. Right, guys, school is very important. Yeah. What year was the French Revolution? I don't know. I'm just gonna Google it. Russell, you're not playing that history? Yeah, Mom, I think I'm finally starting to get it. Oh, really? History is nothing but memorization. You know, names, dates, places. Well, honey, there is more to it than that. Maybe we should get you a tutor. Yeah, that's what Mr. B suggested. Well, in that case, why not try it? Russell's mom wants him to get a tutor because she won't be happy unless he gets an A in history. Makes sense. Makes sense. Hey, dude, I, I just built my first boat and it's floating. That's not the way you play Build a Boat for Treasure. Oh, they're playing Build a Boat for Treasure. We love that game. We've played it many times and made videos about it. What do you mean that's not how you're supposed to play? You're supposed to build a boat for treasure. No, man, what you want to do is get treasure first so you can build a better boat. Look, I just got a soccer goal. Yeah, I see that. And 50 gold and 40 blocks. Where exactly do I find that anyway? So what you want to do is you want to go into this quest tab. Like right now, I'm going to load up the ramp quest to get more gold. Yeah, 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 I, I see it. I'm going to go for the target quest. So they're basically teaching us how to play Roblox. I didn't even know you could do that. I didn't either. This video's lit. Look who's here. Dylan, why are you hanging out with this Roblox noob? It's not a noob. Yeah, I'm better than you. Oh, really? Well, how many Robux do you got? More than you. 
I got 800 for my birthday. <laughs> so did I. <laughs> Guys, literally Justin just got a new Robux gift card and he won't stop showing it to me. <laughs> <laughs> you jealous? Hey, 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 me. You jealous? <laughs> I'm taking it now. <laughs> well, I've earned 1,200 so far, and my game's not even done. Well, while you're working on your game, I'm gonna be going to the Roblox Championship up in San Francisco. Dude, did you make it into the championship? Well, uh, not officially. I, I have to win two more rounds first. Don't you only have to win three rounds to get there? Yeah, but that doesn't matter. I'm the best Roblox player in the school. Uh, don't you mean second best? Well, why don't we do a little competition and make it interesting? What do you have in mind? Well, I've got 800 Robux saved up. Why don't we play winner take all? 800? That's nothing. You're on. Bring your 800 Robux. What are we playing? Blocks fruits. Blocks fruits? Yeah. Whoever survives the longest, that's the winner. You're going down. Brock has challenged Russell to a winner-take-all match to decide the best Roblox player in school. I don't know why I need history tutoring. I can memorize all this on my own. There's more to history than just memorizing. You have to understand the implications. Okay, so I guess this girl who's also a student, she got like an A plus or whatever, she's his tutor. Right. Okay, what happened to the Roblox competition? It's about to happen, I guess he's studying oh, first. Oh, okay. Like the French Revolution. I know all the dates and people. What else is there to know? That's all fine. But do you know why there was the revolution? Mr. B didn't cover that. Am I supposed to know it? Yeah. That's the difference between getting a C and an A. Oh, it's kind of like Roblox. I know where and when to put things, but I need to know why people like to play. Yeah, history's like people. They're saying history's like Roblox. Wow, this is really deep. So as he's learning things at school, he's also thinking, hmm, maybe I can take the things I learned in school and use them to make my Roblox game more lit. That's awesome, man. That's so cool. So yeah, if you like go to math class during school and you learn about multiplication, you can go home and program a Roblox game that has multiplication in it. That's thinking outside the box, man. Yeah. History's like people. If you don't understand it, you're going to make the same mistakes over and over again. Mom, I got my history quiz back. Really? Do I want to know? I think you do. I got a B. A B? Good job, Russell. How'd you pull that off? Well, there's this girl and she and I uh, have been tutoring together. A girl helped you? What? <laughs> <laughs> what was he gonna say? What's going on? I have a feeling he's gonna make a super popular Roblox game. He's gonna get a ton of Robux, and she might be a Robux gold digger. What? <laughs> What's going on in the video? Let's find out. A girl helped you. Is she your girlfriend? Wouldn't that be nice? She's like the most popular girl in school. Why don't you ask her out? No, I'm too nervous. I'm just gonna go upstairs and work on my computer. It better not be that game. Now, if the player wanders too far from Everlost, they'll end up in this creepy town. I'll call it Hillfair. Hey Russell, to celebrate, I'm gonna make your favorite Sloppy Joes. Russell, what are you doing? Mom, I'm making my game for Roblox. Remember, I got a B in history. I don't care if you got a B or not. You are supposed to be doing your homework right now. Well, Mom, that's not fair. You know what? You don't get to decide what's fair. I do. Oh, man, guys, don't fight with your parents. But didn't she say if you get a B, you can play Roblox or whatever earlier? Yeah, that is true. He did get a B, and now she's still mad at him. I don't really understand, guys. I bet he's going to keep working on Roblox. Yeah, he loves Roblox. I could tell. All right, back to what I was doing. That game does look lit, though. Yeah. Can you explain to me what Roblox is? It's a virtual role-playing game. Well, what role am I playing? Anything you want. So how do I do that? 
First, you get your username. Then you gotta pick your avatar. Okay, I'm gonna set my username as Rebel Captain. What's an avatar? You don't know what an avatar is? What are you, living on Mars or something? No, I live on Hummingbird Lane. And they don't have those in Mars. Wait, I want mine to be a boy, not a girl. You can't be a boy, you're a girl. <sighs> Fine, whatever. Just do what I say. Okay, now what? Okay, we need to go find a lot to build your house. I don't want a house, I want to be a kid in high school. You can't be a kid in high school, you have to have a house. Okay, fine, let's get a house. But can I get a house on the beach? No, there's no beach. You have to pick a lot and... Here's a good one, vacant lot number 16. Okay, fine, where do I pick one out? You can't pick one out, you have no idea what you're doing. These scenes! <laughs> it's like they just jumbled up a bunch of stuff about Roblox and just put it in a scene. These are masterpieces. What what did that what did that have to do with anything? I don't get it. So he's trying to teach her how to play Brookhaven, and she's like, oh, I wanna do this, I wanna do that, and he's like, no, you can't do that. You can't do that. Bro, wait a minute. The girl is the tutor for the one guy for history. Right? But this guy is the tutor for Roblox for the girl. So they both gonna fall in love with the girl. Oh! And it's gonna come down to a Roblox battle to decide. All right, it all comes down to 800 Robux. This is crazy, that's a lot of Robux. Now let's see what happens. Here's his Rolex. What? Now, how can I edit his account? Okay, now the mom <laughs> Play a Roblox. What's going on? Reset password. I don't think so. So what's this competition for anyway? Only to decide who's the best Roblox player in the whole school. Oh, but Brock said he's going to the national competition. Well, that's his plan, but he hasn't qualified yet. What? The gladiator has arrived. Gladiator? Dude, what's that about? It's a competition to the finish, and I need to feel the part. Oh, I get it. It's kind of like mental motivation. And where is my challenger, Russell? I don't know, man. Maybe he chickened out. Oh, no. I know him. He'll be here. Oh, look. Is it Halloween? Oh, I see you've dressed warmly, because it's going to be a long, cold winter after you lose. Well, it looks like you're appropriately dressed for Blocks Fruit. That's right. Because you look like a grape. <laughs> okay. Well, you're not going to be laughing so much when we're done. Let's do this. Yeah, I'm tired of listening to your whining. <clears throat> Reset password. <laughs> I don't think so. Oh my goodness, wait a minute. I just realized what's going on. The mom is at home in the boy's room. She's deleting his account. She's lost, guys. She doesn't know what she's doing. No, 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 she's deleting it so he'll focus in school. Oh! She's purposely deleting his account. Now he's gonna be at school and he won't be able to play Blocks Fruits. He's gonna look like a total noob. Oh man, let's oh, see what happens. Man. Ah, here it is. Delete. Now he'll have no choice but to do his homework. Okay, you two know the rules. Whoever survives the longest is the winner. When I say go, you're gonna start. But first, log in. Okay, I'm logging in. What? What's wrong? All right, I'm in. Oh, what, you forget your password? No, my password is fine. It says my account's deleted. That means he's afraid to take me on. I don't know what happened. Russell, check to see if you have an email notification. You owe me 800 Robux, loser. Brock, that's not nice. Hang on, I'm checking into this. So, did you figure it out? Yeah, somebody deleted my account from my home computer. Oh, did you run home because you got scared? Your mom wouldn't do it, would she? Yeah, she did. Okay, Brock, I guess you win. Not fair and square. Well, I don't care how, as long as I win. I've got to straighten this out. Bye-bye, loser. Wow. 
Oh, bro. He lost 800 Robux, guys. Because of his own mom. I don't understand. His mom said if you get a B in history, you can play games. What do you think is going to happen in this video? How is he going to redeem himself? He might cry and beg his mommy to give his account back. Yeah, that's true. Or he might just start from scratch and create like a new game that's even better. Wait, he lost his game? I think so, yeah. What? Russell's Roblox account got deleted and he had to forfeit to Brock. Will he ever get all of his work back? Russell, hold up. What? How is school today? I don't want to talk about it. Well, this came in for you today from that Rolodex company. Yeah, I already know what it's about. They deleted my account. Well, you better hope that's all they did. Read it. So, what's it say? They're summoning me. I have to go there. What? What? <laughs> And now he in the private jail. <laughs> can Roblox do that? They can summon people? Yeah, I guess so. I want to get summoned <laughs> by Roblox. Hey, Roblox, if you're watching, summon me. I don't think they want to summon us. Why? Because we're really cringe. <laughs> I'll appear like that. <laughs> I'll get summoned. I can't believe they're flying me to LA. Hand on a private jet. How did they know my favorite drink? Ah, I can get used to this. There's a phone? Hello? Russell, I'm so glad I could reach you all the way up there. Brittany, it's so nice to hear from you. <laughs> <laughs> Late night when you need <laughs> Dude! Wow! Right. She's a Robux gold digger. Wow, so he literally went from a student getting D plus to now he's sitting in the private jet, the PJ, talking to a girl and he has a soda drink in his other hand. <laughs> Life could change real fast. You could go from losing your Roblox account <laughs> to swagged out. This could be you if Roblox summoned you. Bro, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get summoned. I just realized, is it a coincidence, little coinky dink? That's the same color phone as Talking Bane. Oh, wow. Wow. All right, let's see what happens. It might be burn on the other side, bro. Yeah. Hello? Russell, I'm so glad I could reach you all the way up there. Brittany, it's so nice to hear from you. Sorry, I'm flying right now, so I'm gonna have to miss our tutoring session. Oh, I actually wasn't calling about that. This is something personal. Oh my goodness, personal? Something wrong? Oh no, nothing's wrong. Um, I was just wondering if you were taking your girlfriend to prom? Girlfriend? I don't have a girlfriend. Well, that's why I was calling. Brittany, are you calling for the reason I think you're calling? Yes, I am. Will you be my boyfriend? <laughs> Let's go, Russell! Wow! What is going on in this video? <laughs> I don't understand what's going on, but this is pretty lit, guys. So this could really happen, guys. <laughs> you, 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 you chase your dreams in school. You get flown out, summoned by Roblox, and just people want to date you. <laughs> That's what I'm learning. What's so funny? Yeah, that's awesome, man. That's awesome. It's gonna be me one day. Yeah, it will definitely happen to Justin. I'm gonna be on a private jet one day. It's gonna be lit. Yeah. yeah. Will you be my boyfriend? Heck yeah. What would Brock and the other guys think? I don't care what they think. I only care what you think, honey. This is your captain. We'll be landing in 10 minutes. Brittany, we're about to land in LA. I'll call you back. Okay, call me when you get back. Wow. Russell, we're fully aware of what you've been doing on Roblox. Listen, I can explain. I came up with all of those ideas myself. Are you telling me that you designed those villages, adventures, and challenges all by yourself? Well, yeah. 
Roblox is the most powerful gaming platform in the world. Well, what's your plan after you finish Quest for Everlost? That's just the first one. I have seven more I want to do. You know, just like Harry Potter or Star Wars. And you plan on doing these all by yourself? Yeah, that's why it's going to take a while. No, Russell. I don't think that's going to happen. Really? You're banning me? No, quite the opposite. We want to give you your own development team and welcome you to the Roblox family. What? Whoa! He just got hired by the CEO of Roblox. That's awesome. We're building a game. Wow. Hopefully that happens to Justin one day. Hopefully, guys. Hopefully. Me? A part of Roblox Corporation? Not just part of it. We want to make you Vice President of Special Markets. Vice President? I like the sound of that. And would it be acceptable to start you at a half a million dollars a year? What? Let's go, dude! Wow! Guys, this, I, I think this might be based on a true story. You think so? Yeah. <laughs> Your story. Me in the future. <laughs> so guys, I think the moral of this story is if you work hard, all your dreams can come true, man. Right. Because he was working hard, he got good grades in school, and he was making a game. And now the CEO of Roblox wants to make him a billionaire. Even after his own mom tried to tear him down and delete his account. She just wanted what's best for him. She wanted him to do his schoolwork. Right. Half a million dollars? Well, I'm going to have to think about that. Fine. I'll give you $750,000 a year. But I can't give you a raise, at least for your first 90 days. You know what? You got yourself a deal. Probably <laughs> <won> the <laughs> What's so funny? Oh man, I love this video. That's a winning smile right there. Yeah. Yeah, let's go. Brock may have won the Roblox showdown, but it looks like Russell's moved on to bigger and better things. Okay. <laughs> Why is it just a freeze frame of Russell now? I didn't pause the video. Wait, what? Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, I got it. I didn't pop. What? <laughs> well, they're playing Roblox. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Oh, uh, I'm making a new Roblox game. Why? Oh, they're not playing Roblox. They're making a game. Let's go. You spent way too much time on the computer. I hate seeing you stare at the screen all weekend. But this is what I love doing. I want to build Roblox games. It's just such a waste of time. Wait, uh, can I please just have some more money for Robux? I really need to hire someone to help me finish this. No, I cannot give you any more money for this dumb game. We barely have enough after we pay all of our bills. Oh man, guys, now this is a lit darn man video. It will be linked down below. This is real deep already, man. Cause that guy, kinda like us, you know, wants to play some Roblox, you know what I mean? And wants some Robux. But his mom, it looks like she doesn't even have money, it says to pay for bills. So money must be real tight, so he can't afford the Robux. Yeah, this one's gonna be crazy, guys. So if you want money, you can get a side job like I did when I was a kid. This is a side job. Lots of people make money off of Roblox. Well, I haven't seen you make anything. So you can wait for your allowance until next week like your brother and sister have to. Now get off the computer, I'm serious. Can I please just finish this? I'm right in the middle of it. Fine, but when dinner's ready, off the computer. Got it? Got it. <sighs> Oh, not you two. Oh, oh, come look at this. I'm making a custom map that has different rooms where if you answer a question wrong, you have to fight a bunch of mobs. Okay, so this must be the kid's brother? And he's into, like, building Minecraft maps. Dude, everyone in the family's a genius. They're all coding games, man. Wow, this is awesome. Okay. Okay. Where if you answer a question wrong, you have to fight a bunch of mobs. Honey, like, I understand any of that. Why do you want to be inside all day? You should be hanging out with your friends. I'm hanging out with my friends. Online. Oh, on Discord. <laughs> I mean, hanging out with them in real life. Or I don't know, maybe go outside and get some sun. If you even remember what that is. Nah, I'd rather do this. I don't understand this generation. 
playing video games all day is not gonna take you anywhere. Wow, shout out Darman. This is a real deep video, guys, because sometimes parents just don't understand, bro. I think that both of them are right. That's what I'm saying, the mom wants the best for them, she said, go outside, hang out with your friends. That's what Adam Mom tells you, we just don't have any friends. That is important, though. That's what I'm saying. That's very important. You gotta listen to your parents. But she doesn't get that you can make money if you develop games. Right, so Roblox is important, but so is going outside. Yeah. Playing video games all day is not gonna take you anywhere. That's not true. I'm learning lots of skills. Plus, there are so many ways to make money from Minecraft. I can set up my own server, stream on Twitch, have a Patreon account? I wonder if you're even speaking English sometimes. Well, my friend Sam's older brother's 22. He doesn't even have to work. He gets so much money from donations from his subs. Well, that's great for him, but you don't. So come on, turn this game off. No, uh, can I finish this map? <sighs> you kids are really driving me crazy today, you know that? <sighs> Please. Fine, but one more hour, tops. Just a sec, I want to host my own Minecraft server. Can I buy a Minecraft Realms subscription? Absolutely not. Your dad and I cannot afford another subscription. We may have to cancel one we have. What if you take it out of my allowance? I said no. You play enough of this game as it is. Your dad and I can't afford another subscription, so finish up whatever it is you're doing, because I almost have dinner ready. Man, this is real deep, man. Because, yeah, making money from, like, making video games, like, all this stuff, it is, like, brand new. Like, you're talking about, like, live streaming stuff. That's new. A lot of parents don't really know what that is. You know what I mean? Right, and remember, guys, this video is titled The Mom's Gonna Turn Off Their Electronics, so I got a feeling this video is gonna be a roller coaster. It's, it's gonna get intense. Hey, Kylie, do you want to come help me out? Uh, sorry, Mom, but I'm in the middle of a game. Yo, it's a whole family of gamers, bro. She got the iPad, she's playing. No, I bet she, like, develops mobile games and apps and stuff. Like, oh. every kid in the family is just a genius. <laughs> That's it's awesome. It's a family of tech geniuses. Yeah. Hey, Kylie, do you want to come help me out? Uh, sorry, Mom, but I'm in the middle of a game. Why can't I have one kid whose eyes aren't completely glued to their screen? Your guys' eyes are so stuck on those screens that I'm gonna need this spatula to peel them off. I'm playtesting a new alpha. Alpha schmalpha, okay? It was a beautiful day and not a single one of you cared to go outside. I went outside. I played with my tablet in the backyard. Oh, come on, Kylie. That does not count. What's the big deal? I want to be a video game tester. I already have a bunch of credits on people's games. Why don't you want to do something that's, that's more productive? This is productive. Here, let me show you. You know, no, okay, I don't need to see anything. Dinner will be ready in 10 minutes, and no electronics after that. Okay, I'll be in my room. Just call me when it's ready. And don't bring that thing back to the table. Did you hear me? Dinner's ready. She said not to bring the iPad, bro. You gotta listen to your mommy. I got a bad feeling the mom's about to pull the plug. She about to ground everybody. Kylie, I said no electronics at the table. But I just gotta finish this one last thing. iPad, now. Just give me five more minutes. I am not gonna ask you again. Ethan, dinner is ready. Get off the TV. Okay, just a couple more blocks. No more blocks. You have had plenty of time. Well, where's your brother? Jared! Jared! That boy. Uh-oh. I have been calling for you. Oh, uh, sorry. Uh, I had my headphones on. Can I please just eat in here? I'm on a roll. You know the answer to that. Now, come on. Oh, why would you do that, bro? <laughs> okay, that is a little bit rude. That's disrespectful, guys. Don't hey. do that. Guys, this video is so crazy because I'm on everybody's side. Okay, they're making games and that's the future. You know what I mean? They're going to try and make jobs out of that. That's cool. But they should respect their mom. She let them play until dinner. They should play and make games and then go to dinner. Right, guys. Be nice. And you already know, I love games, but I'm not messing dinner. Do the right thing. I'm not messing dinner under any circumstances. <laughs> and mom says, I got KFC. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gone. <laughs> Just forget the games. <laughs> you know the answer to that. Now, come on. 
Jared! You know what, you kids? I've had enough of this. What are you doing? <gasps> no more computer, and I am taking this. Why did you do that? I don't even know if it auto saved. I don't care. Now come down to dinner. This is real intense, bro. Wow. They be fighting with their mommy, bro. I bet she's gonna like disconnect Minecraft and then she's gonna take the sister's iPad and like snap it in half or something. Yeah, dude. Don't! Can I please have it back? No, and Kylie, are you seriously on that thing already? I was just waiting for everyone else to get here. I am not going to deal with this anymore. Now, where'd... You've got to be kidding me. He went back to Minecraft? Uh-oh. <gasps> Mom, what are you doing? Oh, no. Mom, come Bruh. on. Please give it back. Yeah, why are you taking everything away? We didn't do anything wrong. Enough is enough. Okay, there is more to life than sitting around all day playing video games and being on your electronics. Man, this is so crazy because I, I agree with everybody actually, bro. Right. I mean, you got to have a balance. And it's kind of like all of the people playing games, they're all kind of addicted. Because it's like two minutes and they're already just back on the iPad, bro. They, I think they're addicked to their uh, video games. Right. Enough is enough. Okay, there is more to life than sitting around all day playing video games and being on your electronics. And I gave you plenty of chances, and you ruined it. Mom, can we please have our stuff back after dinner? No. I'm taking it away until school is over. Because we waste so much money on your devices and games and, and subscriptions and whatever. So I'm cutting you off. What? You can't do this to us. You know what? You will thank me when you're older. And you will tell me I am right. Now, we're going to sit down and have a nice family dinner together. How can we enjoy it when you took away everything we've been working on? You don't understand. You're too young. Well, maybe you're the one that doesn't understand. Don't you dare talk back to me like that, young man. Hey guys, how's it going? Oh. <clears throat> so no one's excited to see me? <laughs> All right, the dad's here now. I wonder whose side the dad is gonna take. Okay, I mean, probably the mom. Probably, yeah. Probably. So no one's excited to see me? What's wrong? They won't listen to me. All they wanna do all day long is play their video games and do nothing productive. That's not true. We did our chores. Yeah, and all of our homework. And we are being productive. Mom just doesn't want to understand. Okay, let's just calm down. Tell mom what she's doing isn't fair. I am not gonna tell mom that. No, if she says no electronics, then no electronics. I think you guys can survive for one meal without them. Oh, it's gonna be a lot longer than that. This isn't fair. I'm eating in my room. Yo, nah, you can't, bro. <laughs> Bruh, you can't talk back to your parents like that. He just said, I'm gonna eat in my room? He's gonna get that grounded, bro. Yeah, this just makes me real sad. Bruh. I feel like the family's being split apart. By games, bro. By Roblox. Bruh. Roblox! <laughs> Bruh. This isn't fair. I'm eating in my room. Me too. Yeah, me three. This generation just thinks they're so much smarter than us. It'll be okay. Looks good. Thank you. Banks raising our interest rate. Mortgage is going up. What? No! Can they do that again? Yeah, once a year. Our loan's not fixed. Well, how did your meeting with Jamie go? Did you get that promotion? No, I just got more work. Ironic. Well, I guess we're not taking that trip to Hawaii this summer, which I was really looking forward to. I mean, we haven't traveled since our honeymoon. Okay, so I'm not really following, but it sounds like he said something about the bank called them earlier, and it sounds like something to do with their bills, and they just had to cancel their vacation. So I'm thinking things are getting expensive. They don't have enough money. Right, he didn't get the raise, and they're going to oh. have to pay more money, and, oh. you know, stuff's tight right now. He got more work, but not more pay. Right. Man, 
It's just with the mortgage payments and the car payments and the... All the kids' subscriptions. It's hard to get by. Just imagine when tuition starts. Huh. Well, maybe by then they'll be paying for themselves. Huh. And then you and I can travel wherever we want. Hmm. Can't doubt that. Just... I feel like they're throwing their lives away right now. And anytime I try to help them, they just... They hate me for it. Wow, man, this is real deep, bro. Because even though she doesn't understand like the video game stuff, she wants the best for them. She is, in her mind, she's trying to help them. She's saying go outside and stuff because she thinks that's what's best for them. Right. Maybe we should listen to your mommy, Adam. Which yeah. Which tells us to not play so much Roblox. Mm -hmm. We try to, we try to. Yeah. Yeah, guys. Always listen to your parents. They want what's best for you. They hate me for it. They don't hate you. Oh, it's easy for you to say, Lewis. You're not the one who took away their precious devices. Well, maybe we could work on being a little bit more open-minded. About what? About what they want. Jared really wants to be a game developer. And, and, and Ethan, he's always playing with those block thingies. Kylie loves testing games. I think that they're really working towards something. That is not working. That's wasting time and money. We are barely getting by, and they just keep racking up all of these credit card charges. When we were kids, our parents paid for sports leagues and camps. It's not the same. We were outside, socializing. They just want to be inside, online, all day. Seems to me that they're still learning something. They could be out on the streets learning horrible habits. Are you actually siding with the kids right now? No, honey, I'm just trying to say that I think the times have changed and maybe we could stop discouraging their dreams and start supporting them. Wow! Okay, so the dad is actually coming in and he's trying to make the mom and the kids kind of see on the same level, like Man. agree. Shout out to Dave, you know what I mean? Right! I saw that swagger <laughs> earlier. <laughs> when he came, he said, baby, oh. <laughs> You know what I mean? <laughs> Right. You know what I mean? Earlier when he came in, yep. he's going to help fix everything. He's going to tell the kids, hey, appreciate your mom. And he's going to tell the mom, hey, support their dreams. Let's go. Let's go. Honey, I'm just trying to say that I think the times have changed. And maybe we could stop discouraging their dreams and start supporting them. Because when people follow their passions, it always leads to success. So, you know, what do you think? I think it's time to go to bed. Bruh. What's up, Ethan? I never see you in here. Yeah, my mom took away my Xbox controller. It's the only way I can play now. You know, you're not allowed to play in here, right? No one's gonna find out. I'm just finishing this map I've been working on. Thank you. Ethan, there's no computer games at school. But, but Mrs. Green. This isn't up for debate. Close the game now. What's up with adults not letting us kids do what we want to do? Sucks. Guess that means we won't be playing in the Minecraft tournament this weekend, huh? Tournament? What tournament? Oh, it's a contest to see who can build the best adventure map in 30 minutes. And it takes place on the judge's server. Rules are on the Discord. Winner takes 500 bucks. Dude, you gotta send me that link. Okay. But how are you going to play if your mom took away your controller? It's for 500 bucks. There's no way she's gonna say no. Wait, so your mom won't let you use FaceTime? What if I wanna call you? Nope, she took everything away. I've been going crazy. Actually, can I see yours for a sec? I just need to check my messages on Discord. Hey, sweetheart. Hey, Mom. Hey, Kylie. Hi, Miss Davis. Ready to go home? Yeah, just one sec. Kylie's borrowing my tablet. I'm just about done. Kylie! Where did you get that? It's not mine, it's Lauren. She's letting me borrow it. Well, give it back, you should know better. <laughs> so sorry about that, Summer. She's addicted to that thing, so I had to take it away. I mean, I'm sure you go through that, too. Really? I don't mind her being on it. Ever since we got Lauren a tablet for Christmas, she's been playing games and gotten better at her grades. She went from a C to a B plus in math. Oh, actually, it's an A minus now. It went up. Really? Wow. 
Great job, honey. <laughs> it was good seeing you, Kathy. Okay. See, Mom, Lauren's mom wants to be on her tablet. Yeah, well, I'm not Lauren's mom. Mom! Mom, this is Minecraft tournament this weekend. I told you, I do not want to hear about these video games anymore. You know the rules. Now, come on. Why does she have to be so mean? Man. See? See how peaceful this can be without any of your electronics? <laughs> More like quiet and boring. I don't feel like pasta. Why do we always have to eat at home? Why can't we just go out to eat? Honey, it's, it's just too expensive, okay? So just eat your food. Can we at least just play some music? I can't connect to the speaker without my tablet. Oh, my Xbox doesn't have Spotify. Okay, can you not talk about your electronics for like two seconds? Mom, I want her into the tournament. Please. I said no, and that's final. Mom, oh, come mom. on. I'm not going to talk to you about this again. I have said that we are not going to do this. I said no. Hey, daddy. <laughs> Bro, this is so stressful, man. They really just don't see eye to eye, bro. Guys, every time the dad comes in, everyone just gets less mad That's and me. less sad. That's me. Because of the dad. That's me. Yeah. That's me. Edward's mom always argues. He says, I want more milk. <laughs> <laughs> you already had your milk. <laughs> I come in. Hey, what's up, man? Don't worry. Don't worry. Yeah, I, I solve all the problems, just like this guy's about to. Right. This guy, I bet he's gonna come in here and be like, hey, everybody, we just need to get along. Let's go. Hey! We're not doing that! Hey! Can I please come home once and there not be an argument? They won't stop complaining about not getting their devices back. Dad, there's this tournament in Minecraft this weekend, and I think I can win. Can you please tell Mom to let me enter? No, your dad is not gonna go around me, okay? I'm not gonna let you waste any more of your time on this video game. It's not a waste of time. The grand prize is $500. If I win, I'll be able to finish my map. And I could give Jared Robux so we can hire someone to finish this game. And Kylie will play test so we can make everything perfect. Yeah, come on, Mom. Come on, yeah. Mom. You can't say no to that. No, no! I am done dealing with this video game nonsense. Okay? Louis, you make the decision for once. Well, how about we compromise? Excuse me? Let's give Ethan the opportunity to prove that playing Minecraft can actually pay off. If he wins, the kids get their devices back. Okay, I'm fine with that. Yeah, me too. Come on, Mom. Come on, Mom. You can't say no to that. That's a fair deal. Okay, okay. Fine. But if you lose, that's it. No more devices until school's out, and no complaining from any of you. But that's like two months away. Do we have a deal? Well, I guess we have nothing to lose. Deal. Okay. You take a seat. No, I will make you a plate. You better win. Yeah. Oh, man. Watch. I programmed this button to open up this spot in the wall using a sticky piston. Oh, 30 seconds left. Just a few more finishing touches, and I think I got this. Am I missing anything? Uh, did you finish the redstone circuit in the last chamber? Uh, yeah, I did that. You put the arrows in all of the dispensers and set the tripwires, right? Mm-hmm. Wait, did you place the mob spawner under the trapdoor? Oh, that's it. Thanks, Kylie. Yes, just in time. Okay, guys, we're Minecraft noobs. Everything they just said went over our heads. But I can tell they're in the tournament right now, and he's building a map right now. Right, and I bet they just built a super awesome Minecraft map. That's what I'm saying. That's it. Thanks, Kylie. Yes, yes. just in time. Yes. You switch over to Discord. How are you going to know if you won? The judges were just in spectator mode. It should be only be a few more minutes. Wait, look. Through. They're announcing the winners right now. Oh. The moderator said this has to be the best map we've seen in any competition. And the winner is... Ethan Blaze 2009! Yes! Yes! Yes, let's go! This is awesome! What is going on? Ethan, Ethan won! Really? Congratulations! Like, actually. Like, you got the money. Oh, they just asked to DM him your Remo so they can pay us. Yes, I can finally get my Robux! <laughs> I can get my tablet back. Right, Mom?
Well, a deal is a deal. But you have to promise this will not interfere with school. We promise. Have fun. Kathy keeps her promise and gives the kids their electronics back. From that day forward, whenever she feels like saying something, she instead bites her tongue and lets the kids play their games. A few years pass, and the kids slowly move out of the house and go off to college. What? One by one, Kathy and Lewis say goodbye to their kids. As time goes on, the kids stay passionate about what they want to do with their lives. It turns out they really weren't wasting their time after all. And then one day, the parents get a big surprise. What? You're not going to believe this. Hmm. Another interest rate hike. Oh, how much is it this time? 4.75%. So they just got some new bills or something. Right. Something, something they, bad. That's they, bad. They owe more money now, guys. Oh, bruh. Bruh. I just don't know how we're supposed to keep up. Have you heard from the kids today? No. Oh, I miss them. Do you think we could fly out and see all of them? I mean, it's been such a long time. They all just live so far apart. I don't think we have the funds right now. Maybe over the holidays? Oh, honey, but that's months from now. Okay. Who is it, bro? Hi, Dad! Dad. Hey. <laughs> oh my gosh! We, we, we were just talking about you. Hi, Mom! Hi, hey, Mom! Hi. Oh, what a surprise! Oh. Why didn't you guys tell me you were coming? I, I would have cooked something! We wanted to surprise you. Oh, well, well, come in! Oh, this is just the best surprise ever. <laughs> <laughs> really good surprise. So they surprised their parents and came home early, bro. Wow, that's awesome. Man. Well, this has been so lonely around here with just your dad and I. Uh, you sure I can't make you something? Actually, we were thinking of taking you guys to your favorite restaurant tonight. Oh, do you buy <laughs> so? You don't need to do that. It's too expensive. Mom, don't worry about it. It's on us. Are you sure? Yeah. Yeah, we're all doing pretty well for ourselves now. And that brings us to our next surprise. Tell them, Ethan. Tell us what? Mom, Dad, we know how hard you guys both work to give us everything we wanted. So, we want to pay it back for you guys. No, 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 no. You guys don't owe us anything. Just having you here right now, that's plenty. Oh, and taking us out to dinner? What more could I want? <laughs> I can think of a few things. Mm -hmm. What are you talking about? You know that new game that we were working on together? The one that started off as Ethan's senior project? Yeah. Well, we kept working on it together, and just last week... I got an email from a video game company, and, um... They want to buy a game from us! Oh, 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 okay! Oh, congratulations! Oh, this is incredible! So, with all the money that we made, Jared and I would like to... pay off the mortgage. What? Oh, wow! They paid off the money that the parents owed on their house. Guys, okay, so they all worked together and made a game. It got bought by a game company, and now they're gonna pay all their parents' bills. Bruh. Wow. Bruh. <laughs> That's deep, bro. Yeah. Wow. This is a lit story. <laughs> And I would like to pay off both of your cars. What? Whoa! Bottle of house and some rum, rum, rum. <laughs> What's going on? Let's go. Plus, since you guys never get to go anywhere, we want to send you guys to Hawaii. 
No, 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 we can't accept that. That's too much. Bro, and they were talking about earlier that they couldn't afford to go to Hawaii. Man. Uh, Dude, and it was all because they made a video game that got really popular. It's because they followed their passions, bro. Right. Yeah, <laughs> Let's go. Dad, come on. No, you, you do not need to spend all of your money on us. Oh, trust us. They were super generous with their offer. How much did you sell this game for? Let's just say, quite a lot. <laughs> I didn't think all those years ago I was trying to get you all to quit playing video games. <laughs> Good thing we started supporting them. You're right. Because you said, when you follow your passion, you will always be successful. I'm so proud of you. I just can't believe how good you guys are being to us. <laughs> You're so lucky. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> oh. Okay, so what are you guys most excited about? Oh, well, for your dad, it's the mortgage, for sure. <laughs> I'm really excited about Hawaii. But I'm only going on one condition. What's that? That all of you come with us. Mm? Come on. You guys are where our real happiness is. Oh, to Hawaii. Oh, to Hawaii. Wow, bro. Do you want to come to my recital after school tomorrow? Yeah, I'm down. I don't have any plans. Cool. Look, there's Felicia. And it looks like she has another new bag. When your family's rich, it's easy to have nice things. So they're admiring this girl named Felicia. She got like a new bag or something? Yeah, that's probably a really expensive purse or something Because like they that. said her family is rich or something. Ah. Okay, okay. I heard they have a huge mansion in Orange County. Yeah, and supposedly she's throwing a holiday party there this weekend. Imagine how cool it'd be if we got to go to it. <laughs> As if that ever happened. Rich girls like her, don't hang out with broke losers like us. Oh, that's kind of sad. And I don't think that's even true. I don't know, actually. Well, we don't know many people, so. Yeah, but I guess they're saying like, oh, they'd never be invited to the party because they're not rich like that we, other We girl. don't get invited to parties. Yeah. Huh? But we have our own. That's true. <laughs> but we're the only ones at the party because it's literally just me and Justin here. Yeah, we'll have a good time. <laughs> Have a good time. So they're worried that they're not gonna get invited to the rich girls party because they don't have money or something? Yeah. Okay. But hey, at least we have each other, right? Yeah. Oh my gosh, Ben just walked in. Look how cute he looks. Of course he'd go up to Felicia. Seems like she's inviting him to her party. Yeah, you gotta eat. Oh my gosh, he's coming. <laughs> hey, yo. <laughs> When Justin's what? crush walks what? in. Huh? <laughs> when the McDonald's delivery shows up. <laughs> uh, what are you talking about, dude? So apparently these girls both think that that guy is like super good looking or something. Yeah, I think she got a little crush on him, bro. Let's go. How's he ever gonna know who you are if you hide every time he walks by? I don't know. One day I'm gonna talk to him. When? You've been saying that since freshman year. Now we're graduating in a few months. I just get so nervous to talk to him here. It'd be easier if I saw him out somewhere like... Felicia's party. <laughs> As if she'd ever invite us. You know what? <laughs> I guess there's only one way to find out. Okay, so she's gonna try and get invited to the party so she could talk to the guy. Wow. Now, I saw some comments about this Darman video. Apparently, there's a huge twist in this video. Are you serious? Yeah, so we're gonna find out together with Dar everyone watching. Darman always be doing that, bro. They're gonna take I Justin's brain I do and the twist, twist it. <laughs> <laughs> I do a huge twist. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> it's not funny. I'm good at dancing. All right, let's go. Hey, where are you going? Rachel. Hey, Felicia. Um, hi. <laughs> I'm Rachel. We had third period chemistry together last year, and we both went to Lincoln Middle School. 
Oh, and there was this one year where we both went to Earhart Elementary, but I kind of hey, This party's gonna be lit. <laughs> Everyone I've talked to said they're coming. I know, I'm so excited. Oh, sorry, could you just give me one second? So, is there something that you need? Okay, I thought it was gonna go differently. I thought she was gonna ask to go to the party and she'd be like, yeah, sure, you come to the party. Then it's about like the crush or whatever, but she was actually right. Felicia being mean for no reason, I don't understand. I think Felicia thinks that she's better than everyone just cause she has a lot of money. That doesn't even make sense though. It's not It's not like she made the money, it's her family's money, that's what they said. Yeah. That doesn't even make sense, how are you, why? Why, why don't be mean? <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, I wanted to ask you about your party. You see, my friend Heather and I... Hi. We were wondering if we could come. <laughs> Is that a Michael Kors bag? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Why? Ew. No one wears Michael Kors anymore. Hey, yo! That would be like me being like, uh, Justin, are those Skechers on your feet? No one wears Skechers. They are. Hey, stop it. Stop it. I'll show you. I got new Skechers that light up from your mom for the holidays. I'll show you. Wow. I'll show you very soon. But guys, it doesn't matter what clothes people wear or what brand it is. You should just be nice to everyone. That's what I'm saying. What'd they say? She got a uh, Rocky, Michael Rocky bag or something? I don't really know. It sounded fancy. What's the problem, dude? Yeah. People have bags, like designer bags in school. What school? I don't know, guys. Oh. I never met anyone. That's what I'm saying, bro. No one wears Michael Kors anymore. Yeah, they're literally on clearance racks everywhere. Okay, so I don't see anything wrong with that. That's the right attitude. I like her attitude. Yo, who cares, man? She got a good deal on a bag. The bag carries her stuff the same as the designer bag. We get our clothes from the clearance shops. Well, we get this from LikeyBoxShop.com. That's pretty lit. But like my t-shirt, see, I got this at a clearance rack. Yeah, and I get all of Justin's hand-me-downs. Yeah, because I'm way taller than Adam, so it fits on him nicely. Yeah. <laughs> sometimes the clothes have wrinkles on them because I'm dancing so much. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> you said at the end of the video is a big twist. <laughs> but at the end of this video, I do a big twist. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> is your friend for real right now? Uh... No. <laughs> She's just joking around. Oh, good. Because anyone who can't see what's wrong with wearing a Michael Kors definitely isn't coming to my party. Let's go, girls. Wait, so does this mean we can actually come? Ugh. You still want to go after how they just treated me? Dang. Oh. That's true. This other girl, she's a fake friend, bro. Because she didn't back up her real friend. Her real friend is right, man. Who cares what she's wearing, bro? She really just wants to go to the party just so she can talk with that boy she likes. I think the main girl, guys, I think she got some deep insecurities. Because she's nervous. She's, like, trying to fit in. She's saying, what's so funny? No, I'm not laughing. I'm serious. She's saying, you know, she does believe in her friend. Also, she feels like she has to go to a party and ask out the guy. You can ask out the guy whatever you want. What's the big deal. Yeah, exactly. Big deal. Way to have my back. She Hold didn't have on, her back. Mother. Hey, can you please stop? Heather! Just because they have money and can afford nice stuff that somehow makes them better than me? No, of course not. Can you just calm down for a second? Let's talk about this. Talk about what? How they just made me feel completely worthless because of my bag? I'm so sorry. You didn't deserve that. I tried to tell you, there's no way Felicia was going to invite us, but of course, you don't listen. Technically, she didn't say we were not invited. You can't be serious. You still want to go to that dumb party after everything that just happened? Yeah, I'm on her side. Why do you want to go to the party? The party's going to be lame, and you're going to show up, and Felicia and friends are going to make fun of you again. What's the point, man? Stay at home. That's what we do. <laughs> Can't be made fun of if I stay inside. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think she just really wants to talk to the boy, so she's willing to just, like, even be mean to her own best friend. You know what's deep? She's not only mean to her friend, she's being mean to herself, bro. She doesn't respect herself. She's going to go to the party and get made fun of for no reason. That's true. She's to go true. talk to uh, a boy. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think the twist is going to be at the end of this video? Do you think maybe the boy is going to end up dating this girl? <laughs> <laughs> my hips don't lie. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? 
Dude. These, these hips don't lie. Yeah. These hips don't lie. I, okay, that's my prediction. I bet the boy is actually gonna end up having a crush on this girl, her friend. Yeah, let's see. No, you're right. Just forget about it. <laughs> I was thinking we could all just run up to the party together. You guys down? Actually, man, I'm going with my girl. Yeah, same. She, she got us matching outfits and everything. But it's fine, I'll just, I don't know, go solo. I'm sure you'll find someone new. I mean, this is my last chance before I move to NorCal. I guess, we'll see. Okay, they're saying a lot of things that kind of whoop, whoop, went over my head. Well, I'll, I'll break it down for you, break Dustin, because I know I'll, relationships. I'll break it down. Oh, really? Yeah, so basically, the guy that she likes is now freshly single and ready to mingle. Oh, wait, what? Oh, he's single? Mm -hmm. That's what he meant when he said, I'm solo. Yeah. I'm riding solo. <laughs> I'm solo. I'm solo. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, and Justin he's is so single and ready to mingle. I'm riding solo. <laughs> Get a drive through. Cause you're not invited. <laughs> yeah. And they just said you'll probably meet someone at the party. So she's like, hey, I gotta be at the party. She's gonna swoop in. Bro, just stay inside and play Roblox, honestly. Yeah. Uh, everything can be avoided if you stay inside and play Roblox. That's what we do. And a mom says that's us hiding, running away from the real world and our problems. But it's not. Uh, it kind of is. It's not. It's <laughs> that. Oh my gosh, did you just hear what Ben said? This could be my last chance to talk to him. We have to go. Please, please, please. You know how important this is to me. Please, please. The situations you get me into. Ben, you're such a great friend. How are you even planning on getting in? I don't know, but I'm sure I'll find a way. Hey, you girls like to sign up for us? No, we're good. Please just leave us alone. What kind of designer? It doesn't matter. We are not about to buy some stolen bags of a stranger. Oh, they're not stolen. They're just fake. What, wait, what? This dude came out. <laughs> he came out of nowhere and said, you guys want some bags? What? I guess he's trying to sell them like bags that are fake, but they look like they're really expensive. <laughs> Tell me what kind of bag I wear. <laughs> yeah! Got the Lucky Box backpacks. Wow, those look cool. These are neither fake nor designer, but they're Lucky Box. Yeah. I like these. But yeah, guys, you can wear whatever you want. Who cares, man? Definitely do not buy anything from people that approach you randomly on the street. Probably not a good idea. Right, this is a little bit sus. Probably a little bit. Yeah, like that's any better. They look 100% real. No one will be able to tell the difference. I got Louie and... Gucci. Come on, let's go. Uh, are you sure no one would be able to know? Yeah, unless you work in the store or something. I mean, look at how real it looks. Rachel, you're not seriously thinking about buying a fake bag. I don't know. How much is it? Usually $200. Oh. But I'm in need of cash, so this is your lucky day. I can sell it to you for a hundred. Do not do it. Wait a minute, it's $200 for a fake bag. How much is the real one? Probably like $5,000. What? <laughs> what? Yeah, guys, and she's really thinking about buying a fake bag just so she can look cool in front of the boy she likes. And to get into the party. Yeah. If, if she wanted the bag just for herself, th I, that's one thing, but if you're gonna buy something fake just to try and impress people, people that are not even nice to you, mean people, what's the point, man? You down bad, bro. Yeah, don't ever yeah. do that. Hey right, guys, just be yourself. People don't like you. Hey, there will be other people that do. Seriously, who are you trying to impress? Don't be mad at me. I only have 60. You know what? That's fine. Please don't be mad. I like her friend is a real one, bro. Like she she knows what's up. She knows life is not about trying to impress other people, especially people that judge <laughs> others or that think they're better. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah, and that's why I think the boy is gonna end up liking her because she's real. Are you serious? I think that's what's gonna happen. But that's she's messed gonna, up because they're friends. She's, she's, she's gonna steal her boyfriend. Yeah. That's you know why you think of that? Cause that's what you think about. You think one day Justy's gonna get a girlfriend and I'll steal her. That's what you think. 
come out. I don't ever have the idea that I you're gonna get a know. girlfriend. That was going on. You think that I think you're gonna get a girlfriend? Wrinkle free Adam. <laughs> no, you think I'm gonna get one and you're gonna try and steal it. Maybe. Don't do it. What are you doing? The boxy diaper keeps falling okay. off. Okay. Leave me to the dark, man. I leave it to the diaper. <laughs> Has anyone said anything? Are you kidding? I've already gotten like six compliments. Hey, love your purse. Thank you. Make that seven. I'm gonna grab a drink. Want anything? I'm good, thanks. Okay. Mm -hmm. I've never seen that bag before. Oh, it's because it's a uh, limited release from the Runway Collection. You shop the Runway Collection? Which store did you get it from? Uh, the Louis Vuitton store? <laughs> Obviously. Which one? Uh, the one on Rodeo Drive. That's where I go. You must know Michael then. He manages all the runway pieces. Michael. Yes, of course, Michael. <laughs> Such a nice guy. Bro, this is so... A little bit cringe, bro. She digging herself into a hole. She bagging herself into a corner. They're gonna catch her with a lie. They're gonna say, psych, there's no Michael Katya. Yeah, now guys, we are cringe. So we know cringe yeah, when we see yeah, it. Yeah. This is cringe. Well, I would say in general, try to impress people, especially people that are mean. Yeah, that's, that's not even cringe. It's just not smart. Just don't do it, guys. Go yeah. make friends with other people. It's not worth your time. Anyway, I better get going. It was nice. Do you want to sit with us? What? Seriously? Uh, wow. You mean like in this chair? With all of you? Would it be okay if Heather comes too? Hmm, sorry. There's only room for one. Oh. So, are you sitting with us or not? Uh... I just feel bad leaving my friend by herself. Hey, ladies. Hey, Ben. Hey. hey. I'm excited to go to your party tonight. I'm excited for you to be there. <laughs> oh, hi. I'm Ben. Rachel. 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 You're probably hurting Ben's hand. Oh my gosh, I am so sorry. <laughs> Don't sweat it. It's nice to meet you, Rachel. It's nice to meet you too. Rachel was actually about to have lunch with us. You should join too. Oh, yeah, I would. But um, <laughs> there's only one chair. That's all right. We can make room for one more. Pull up a chair. Okay. That's messed up, bro. They made room for him because he's popular, but they won't make room for her friend. Wow. How Rachel was looking at the boy she liked in slow motion is literally how Justin looks at some chicken nuggets. Yep. Literally. Yep. Like, he'll get in this, like, daze, and I have to, like, snap him out of it. Yep. Yeah. In the nugget, hit the old <laughs> sis. I <laughs> <laughs> looks at the milk. <laughs> that is true. Speaking of, speaking of milk, you already know. You already know. <laughs> you already know. It's how I don't be looking at milky, bro. Yeah, give me, give me a minute. Well... Uh... Man, I feel so bad for her friend, man. She's a fake friend, man. Wow. She yeah. being fake, man. Would you ever do that to me? What? Like, if some popular people asked you to sit with them and then they didn't let me sit there, would you choose to sit with the popular people or would you sit with me? Well, 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 I don't know you let me play with your Nintendo Switch! <laughs> no. Why <What>? now? <laughs> No Nintendo Switch oh, for you. No, she's <laughs> at the cool kid table. Yeah, except for no cool kids actually asked you to sit with them. Yeah, they do. <laughs> Chuck and Cheese on my birthday. Go to the party pizza room. I get pizza party pizza party room <laughs> to myself. Chuck and Cheese, a cool kid. You're not allowed. Yeah, but they're paid to be nice to you. <laughs> no, they're not. Let me play with the Nintendo Switch. You can sit at my table. 
<laughs> Alone in the Chuck E. Cheese room? <laughs> nah. <laughs> I will get the Nintendo Switch! I will! So, it looks like someone has a crush on Ben. Oh no, was it that obvious? You know, he's coming to my party tonight. Maybe you could try talking to him there. Wait, does that mean that I'm- Invited? Here you go. I can't believe it. Thank you so much. I don't even know what to say. Are plus ones allowed? Ugh, don't tell me you plan on bringing Michael Kors, girl. Well, she has been my best friend since elementary school. I'd feel really bad for ditching her. <sighs> All right, fine, I guess. I'll put her on the list. Thanks. Now I just have to figure out what I'm going to wear. Oh, well, we're all going to the plaza after school to go shopping if you want to come. I would, but I actually have to go do something with Heather. Well, then, what are you going to wear? Um, I'll probably just find something in my closet. <gasps> As in, wear the same thing twice? <laughs> <laughs> Good one. I thought you were being serious for a second. <laughs> no, <laughs> I was just playing. Joking, kidding. Of course I'm gonna get something new. Wait, they're, they're, they're making fun of her for wearing something twice? What is, what? I guess they're being what kind like- What world do they live in? I don't know. Huh? I mean, we've been wearing the same clothes for years. I've been wearing this onesie since it was released. I have not taken it off. Yeah. I guess the girls, the popular girls are saying that it's not cool if you wear something more than once. So they would really make fun of you. Stop! <laughs> I wear this every day. I'm very proud of it. It's very cozy. Yeah, but they probably just say that you do the twist too much. What? They probably wouldn't think that was very no, cool. No, no, I don't. I got some Oreos and stuff on this. I've been wearing it a very long time. Yeah, it's very comfy. Very cozy. What are they saying? They're saying you can't wear the same outfit twice? What does that even mean, bro? That makes no sense. Meanwhile, he's going to borrow a chair from her. But he's starting to talk to her. Oh. Hey, yo. Now that I think about it, I would love to come. I'm sure Heather wouldn't mind. Okay, I'm back. what I miss? Well, Rachel just confirmed that she's coming to the party tonight. Oh, you are? That's great. Maybe we can hang out. I like that. What was that, bro? She said... I think she invited Rachel to the party as a joke. I bet they're gonna pull a crazy secret twist prank on Rachel. They're gonna expose her for the fake bag. Yeah, or they're gonna pour like milk on her and like honey and syrup. Why would, why? Cause they're gonna embarrass her. They're, they're pretending. Try to turn her into a waffle. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I bet that's what they're gonna do. They're gonna only invite her just so they can make fun of her. Yeah, bro. Let's see what Maybe. the twist is. Yeah. Oh man, she went shopping with him, bro, but she doesn't have the money to buy that stuff, man. Right, because she spent all of her money on the fake bag. Hey, yo. Would you like to try that on? Yes, please. Okay, right this way. Thanks. Hey. Thanks for missing our recital. Oh, I am so sorry about that. She missed her friend's recital. I forgot about that too. She invited her to the recital at the start of the video. All right, sure, blee, blah. <laughs> she would rather be in a store buying designer clothes than be with her best friend. You sounded almost like that robot <laughs> that me, Foxy, and Boxy have been working on. The lanky bot. Oh, yeah. You said bleep, blop, bleep, blop, bleep, blop, bleep, 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 You know what I mean? Yeah. Dude, she missed her friend's, her best friend's recital to go fake shopping. She can't even buy this, bro. What is she going to do? She's going to get exposed right here. Yeah, probably. But at least we got to go to the party now. <laughs> Oh, I'm so excited. Don't be that way, please. You know how important this is to me. For the first time in my life, Ben knows I exist. Fine. Where are you? Oh, I'm at Rosini's at the plaza. Isn't this dress so cute? I was just about to try it on. 
you know everything that costs a fortune, right? Really? I haven't even looked at the price tag yet. $184 for a dress though? Wow, high what? fashion. That's expensive. I mean, your light up sketches were like, what, $15? I don't know, they were from Santa. Oh, right. But you know what this is less expensive than? A Nintendo Switch! <laughs> you really won't let that go. You won't, cause you won't let it go. You won't let me play with it. <laughs> Mom says sharing is caring, but I'll get my own Nintendo Switch one day, eh? Whatever you say. One day. <laughs> one day. Oh my gosh, you're right. Rachel? I gotta go, I'll call you later, okay? Bye. Wait, I was gonna ask. Hey, what's up? How'd it fit? Oh, it's uh, not really my style. <laughs> no worries. You should try this one. It's so cute. Uh, how much is it? I don't know. <laughs> I never even look at the price tags, to be honest. Wow, it's cheap. $240? Yeah. <laughs> What's the big deal? I mean, you wear a Louis Vuitton bag. I'm sure you can afford this. Oh, yeah. I meant, uh, I thought it'd be so much more. <laughs> you know, I just remembered I have a dress at home that I've only worn once and no one has even seen me in it. So I'll probably just go with that one. You're really gonna wear a dress that you've worn before? Hey, yo, you see how fast she turned just crazy? She was like, <laughs> Yeah! See that, how fast that was, bro? Why does she care so much? Why is she so mean? Dude, it cause she, I guess she's hosting a party. She wants everyone to roll up in style. Oh. What kind of school is this, man? What kind of, is this, this is school, man? I guess At so. At school, I was sitting crisscross applesauce eating Oreos off the ground. Right. <laughs> Still do. That was yesterday. <laughs> yeah. In school. Yeah. <laughs> so your mom teaches at school. Right. But if you guys want to get some Lanky Box merch, <laughs> That's a flex. No one will ever make fun of you for that. <laughs> we might be cringe, but the merch is lit. That's all I gotta good. say. Very good, Adam. Very good. You're really gonna wear a dress that you've worn before to my party? Uh, yeah, you're right. I don't know what I was thinking. I'll just go with this one. Hmm. Thanks. Don't sweat it. That's what friends are for. <laughs> What is she thinking, bro? What is going on? The gears in her brain are turning, but I don't understand. I'm telling you, the second at, before when she was like, oh, you must know Michael, that was a trick. I think she's on to Rachel. She knows she's faking, and she's gonna do some crazy prank on her. That's messed up, though. If, if she really does that, she just tricked her into buying a really expensive dress just to mess with her? That, 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 that's her messing with her money. That's messing with her life. Yeah, guys, let us know in the comments what you think's about to happen. I'm shook. This video's crazy. So, what's up with you and Rachel? You know she really likes Ben, right? And it seems like he kind of likes her too. Yeah, are you sure you want to be friends with her? Friends? <laughs> I'm just having a little fun with her. That's all. Oh. <laughs> Rachel, let's talk about shoes. <laughs> so how did she end up even paying for all that stuff? Mm, maybe she had to like borrow money from her mom or something. Are you serious? Yeah. Man, this is getting kind of dark, man. It's kind of sad, man. Because we know that she's getting messed with. Bro. Right. Man. This neighborhood is so nice. Are you sure I'm going to be able to get in? I mean, I didn't get an invitation. Yeah, you're totally good. Felicia confirmed. She put you on the list. Okay. If you say so. Oh, you left your tag on. No, don't do that! $240?! Are you crazy?! Why else do you think I kept the tag on? I'm gonna return it after the party. You know you're not supposed to return something after you've worn it. I know, but what else was I supposed to do? Felicia told me to buy the dress, and I didn't want to make it seem like I don't have any money. Honestly, you're... I don't even know who you're becoming anymore. Rach, you shouldn't try to be someone you're not. Especially to try and impress people that don't even care about you. Felicia cares about me. Even today at the store, she called me her friend. Why are you rolling your eyes? Don't be jealous. Jealous? Is that what you think this is about? Trust me, I'm not jealous. I don't want to argue with you right now. 
Felicia just asked where I am. Come on. Let's go. This is so sad, man. This is messed up, bro. Their friendship is being torn apart, bro. Because she does not know who she is, man. Yeah, she's losing herself. She's losing her mind. Kind of like I did. Wow. <laughs> Incident. I actually think Darman is just playing with our minds right now. He has been for quite a while. Darman be playing with our heart. Wow. Of course. We wouldn't want to leave Felicia waiting. <laughs> Hi, I'm Rachel. My friend Heather and I are on the list. Rachel. Oh, here you are. Heather. Heather, no, I don't see a Heather. Are you sure? Felicia confirmed she added her. Yep, I'm sure. What kind of, they're in school. What kind of party <laughs> got this guy outside with a clipboard saying you're not invited? What kind of party is this? Yeah, let us know if you guys have ever seen any parties like this, cause this seems way too fancy. Only party I ever been to at school is your mom came and dropped off a dozen cupcakes. Oh yeah! Cupcake party! Okay, it was my birthday. We had cupcake day. Yeah, it was kind of sad though because uh, Justin actually ate them all I himself. Didn't, I didn't eat them all. Really? I licked the frosting <laughs> off of all of them, which is different. But then no one else could have it. No, no. Yeah. Right! <laughs> I guess you're right. Yeah, for my birthday, my mom brought me like a pizza to share in my class, but then I accidentally sat on it. <laughs> so now I just had pizza everywhere. Yeah, cheesy baby. Yeah, a little bit of cheese baby. <laughs> hey yo, you said all you got some cheesy baby. Let's baby, keep going. We got change Adam's diaper. Change it again. Come on, bro. I'm sure. And if she's not on the list, unfortunately she can't come in. See, I told you this was gonna happen. Let me just run inside real quick to find her and have her come get you. You want me to wait out here? By myself? It'll just be for a second. I promise I'll be right back. Trust me. Man, look how sad she is. This is so messed up, bro. I think Rachel's gonna forget about her friend. Are you serious? But then Ben's gonna roll up to the party and talk to her or something. Oh, yeah, let's see. This is crazy. Sorry, excuse me. Hey, Rachel, right? Oh, hey, Ben. Hey. Why were you standing by yourself? Oh, I'm kind of fifth wheeling it right now. My friends, they both brought their girls, so. <laughs> Move that clip! Move that clip! I'm, I'm at the party! Stop! You weren't invited! <laughs> Your back just cracked! That's how you know I'm getting a good twist! <laughs> that dance is so funny! Get your booty out of here! You know what I mean? Stop. I'm at the party. You see those dance moves? Are <laughs> these from Cassie Bass? <laughs> <laughs> uh, wow. Pretty crazy, huh? Yeah, those were really good. Pretty dancing. crazy, huh? <laughs> oh, and they're matching. That's so cute. Right. Kind of wish I had someone to match with, but. <laughs> You can take it. No, that's all right. It can wait. She hung up on her friend. Hey, you a fake friend. Wow. You fake. And yeah, she has the price tag sticking out. Yeah, I thought that was kind of just for the flex. Like, oh, look at how expensive this was. Oops, forgot to remove the price do tag. Do people do that? People do that? Uh, I don't know anyone else besides you, but maybe some people do it. Your mom. Yeah, but she doesn't do that. Yeah. Yeah. You but, do that. <laughs> you left the price on your Nintendo Switch. <laughs> <laughs> you cannot play my Switch, Justin. I want to play it all by myself. My I'll get my own. All right, got fun I'll get with my that. Own with the OLED screen. <laughs> you could ask your friend Chuck E. Cheese for it. We'll see, Adam. So, uh, you see Davis, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Looks like Rachel's trying to steal your guy. <laughs> like that, whatever happened. 
It's almost time to teach her a lesson. What? Wait, they're, she dating Ben? From when? No, she has a little crush on Ben. Wait she... What? Don't tell me. Okay. It's Ben Ben. <laughs> transform. I don't think that's Ben Ten. That might be. Ben. You don't know that. Yeah, I don't actually know, but I'm pretty sure it's not. So you think she got a crush on the same guy on Ben? Yep. And she doesn't want to have her boy stolen. What's gonna happen, bro? You know, it's crazy. This is the first time we're talking. I just, I don't know. I feel like I've known you my whole life. Yeah. <laughs> well. I feel the same way. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Yo, she getting text calls from her bestie, bestie, who she's ignoring just to talk to this boy. She says, are you coming to get me with the pouty eye emoji? So Adam says in the group chat with me and his mom, is it time for milk yet? And then that emoji like five times. Yeah. It's like this. <laughs> Stop it. Shoot, I've got to get my friend. Oh. Have you seen Rachel? It's so good to see you. I told you that dress looked good on you. Thanks. Hey, so Heather's outside. For some reason, she wasn't on the list. I was wondering if you can get her in. Oh, <laughs> whoops, I must have forgot. I'll go get her. Thanks. <laughs> oh my gosh, Michael! <laughs> How are you? Good. Mm -hmm. Thanks again for inviting me to your party. Oh my God, don't sweat it. <laughs> hey, you know my friend Rachel, right? said she shops with you at the Louis Vuitton store. Oh. oh, this is the guy who works at the store? Oh, time for her to get her lie exposed. Wait, wait, what? She goes to school with the guy who works at this fancy store? I guess so. What kind of party is this? <laughs> I don't understand. No, I don't think so. What? You don't know who she is? But I thought you said you knew Michael. You know, I meant the other Michael. Yes, that's who I shop with. I guess it's a common name. <laughs> <laughs> I know, there's like four of us all in the same district. Well, I'm really glad Mike chose taking good care of you. He's really great. Yeah, he is. Uh, do you need to get that? Uh, no, that's okay. It sounds important. Yeah, you should really check. Uh, okay. I'm so uncomfortable! Oh, uh, she's about to show the bag that's yeah, fake. Yeah, she was trying to hide the bag. She didn't want to show it because the guy who works at this store is going to call her and say, that's fake. Yeah, that's but why, why couldn't she just open the bag behind her back? What? Like, you can open a backpack behind your back. You can't. It's a back. Try it with the box. Try, to open, try to open this with your arm. <laughs> try to hold it up. <laughs> <laughs> try, try to open this with it on your back. All right, watch this, guys. And now I'm going to pretend to be Rachel at the party. Ding, ding. Open your phone, Rachel. Open your phone. Open your phone. Open your phone. Aren't you going to get it, Rachel? Rachel. Open your phone. Rachel. Open your phone. Justin. Open your phone. Justin. Open your phone. Okay, fine. I can't do it. Open your phone. <laughs> Thank Bye. I told you it's possible. All right, you're right. That is pretty hard. Yeah, see? So she got to take it out. She got to get exposed, bro. Well, I've never seen that bag before. You haven't? But she said she got it from the Runway collection. No, I'm pretty sure I would recognize it. Where did you get this from? Uh, you know... Now that I think about it, this one was a uh, gift. Yeah, sometimes I get my bags confused. <laughs> well, I hate to break it to you, but whoever got you that bag gave you a fake. <gasps> what? No, that can't be possible. I'm afraid so. Scammers sell them on the street all the time for a hundred bucks. <laughs> <laughs> You're seriously wearing a fake Louis Vuitton bag? Who does that? Somebody who wants to pretend that they're rich, but doesn't have any actual money. That's who. Hey, yo! Hey, yo! Why is she oh. can't like that, bro? She's attacking her with her words. Oh, don't do this ever, man. Don't. No, you don't understand. Well, enough with the lies. Oh. Hey, everyone. 
My friend Michael here works at the Louis Vuitton store and he just confirmed that Rachel's bag is fake. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to put you on the spot. Oh, no, you've done nothing wrong. You're not the one prancing around pretending to be someone that you're not. Hey, Felicia, come on. This really isn't necessary. Yes, it is. She needs to be taught a lesson. You know what? I'll just leave, okay? Wait. Is that? Whoops. I must have accidentally left the tag on. Do not tell me you plan on returning that dress after you wore it. What? No. Oh, yeah? All right, well then you wouldn't mind if- No, I don't do that. <laughs> so you are planning on returning it. How <laughs> embarrassing. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Go on and leave. You clearly don't belong here. Oh, and by the way, I didn't forget to put Michael Kors girl on the list. I left her off on purpose. Yo, hey, yo. <laughs> wow. That was some serious yeah, drama. Shout out to our man. These videos are getting too crazy. I feel like I'm watching a real Hollywood movie. Yeah, drama, man. The drama time. Yeah. Said, yo, how crazy she be looking. She said, I didn't forget. I purposely left her off the list. Wow. You know how crazy she looks, bro? She's actually a very good actress. That's what that means. Yeah, that's true. Very good actress, because I'm sure she's very nice in real life. But yeah, guys, that's pretty nuts, isn't it? Yeah, let us know if you guys have ever been invited to a party like this before. Nah, bro. I've never invited to a big party in my life, let alone a crazy one like this. Well, now I'm not really missing out on much, because I would probably get made fun of. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. It's like we stay inside and play Roblox. <laughs> right. <laughs> understand what just happened in there. It was a total setup. What are you talking about? She invited her friend from the Louis Vuitton store so that she could expose my fake bag. And then she pulled out my tag in front of everyone. She basically made a total fool out of me. And the worst part is, she did it in front of Ben. I tried to warn you. She's not your friend. You were right. I never should have gotten this dumb bag or this expensive dress. And I never should have pretended to be someone that I wasn't, especially to try to impress someone who doesn't even care about me. I'm so sorry. I promise to never put anyone before you again. Can you please forgive me? I forgive you. Man, her friend is a real what? one, man. Her friend is real because not only did she go through all that, she even missed her recital, but she forgave her. That takes true strength. Yeah, do you forgive me for not letting you play my Nintendo Switch? Because we're besties. I forgive you, I... Aww, see guys, Justin's just as strong as the girl in the I, video. I forgive you, Aiden, but I, one day I'll find out where you hide that Nintendo Switch. You'll never find I'll it. I'll find it. <laughs> I checked everywhere. <laughs> Check that email! <laughs> Down to your diaper, Stash! I'll find it. When I do, it's Mario Party time. <laughs> Alright. Thanks. You're such a great friend. I am honestly so lucky to have you. That's probably the first thing you've been right about in a while. <laughs> Rachel! Hey, wait up. Ben? Hey. Why did you leave the party? Come on. You really think I want to be there after what she just did? I'd much rather be here. With you. Really? Yeah. You still want to talk to me even after finding out yeah, that- Your bag's fake? Well, you're, you're planning on returning your dress? Who cares? None of that matters to me. Look. I'm planning on returning this too. You are? Yeah, I only bought it for this dumb party. <laughs> and I'm really regretting it now. <laughs> well, I never would have expected that. Yeah. Um, um, you wanna get out of here? I don't know, maybe grab a bite to eat? Really? Yeah. Actually, 
I promised my friend I was gonna hang out with her. Oh, okay. Maybe another time? That sounds great. <laughs> Maybe we can return our clothes together. <laughs> <laughs> That's perfect. <laughs> uh, like, tomorrow? Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, you have a good night. You too. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Oh, Angie! I can't believe that just happened. <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy. I don't know how I feel about that, bro. Because she still got the boy after doing all that stuff. And the only reason she got the boy is because she went to the party by faking it. Right. She so was I'm mean to her friend multiple times. I honestly think he should have gotten with her friend, not <laughs> Rachel. Because her friend was nice the whole time. Rachel just backstabbed her friend. So who are you, Rachel or the friend? I think that I'm the boy. <laughs> what? <laughs> So am I. I'm the guy who works at the store. No, you're the That's a fake bag. You're the people dancing at the park. Oh, true. <laughs> true. True. Those people are having a great time. Right. So why'd you leave the party early? Yeah, we were looking for you. Let's just say I met someone. Hey, boys. Mind if we sit with you? Um, actually, there's not enough room. Sorry. Um, I'm sure you guys can pull up one more chair, right? Oh, okay. What I meant to say, it... Actually, Rachel and Heather are gonna sit here. Hey, girls. Yeah. Have a seat. Are you kidding me? You'd rather sit with her over me? Yep. I'm sure you girls can find a seat somewhere else. Bye. <laughs> Don't even think about being invited to any more of my future parties. You'll be standing outside like Michael Kors' girl over here was. <laughs> well, you don't have to worry about that. Because none of us would ever come to one of your parties again. Mm-mm. This is ridiculous. Let's go, girls. Whoa. Never again. <laughs> <laughs> Look, since Rachel was exposed for having a fake bag, now she carries Michael Kors' purse around, too. <laughs> <laughs> I happen to like my bag. Thank you very much. You know, I can't believe you choose a girl who wears a fake bag over me. Big mistake. You know what? I'd rather be with someone that has a fake bag over someone that is a fake friend. And as Heather said, bye, Felicia. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the curtain tops in. Ow! It shoots! And I score! Oh, that, that's like me, bro. That's like me. Yeah, guys, Justin's good. really good. I'll get a basketball, dude. Let's go, let's go. Man, you got lucky. I don't want to play with you anymore. You keep hurting me. Are you going to cry? Okay, somebody I know does this to me. Oh, you going to cry, Justin? Stop it! Are you going to cry? I don't cry. <laughs> I don't cry. You cry, we play basketball, and I dunk on you. <laughs> when I dunk on you, your mom takes a photo on it and prints it. When I'm just dunking on you. Yeah, Justin like always that. posterizes yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, and then I'm crying. Are you gonna cry? Go cry to mommy! What's wrong, Isaac? Why aren't you playing with your brother and Mikey? Jay plays too rough. Jay, what did I tell you about playing so aggressively? Come on, Mom. That's how it goes in basketball. You gotta be a beast in the NBA. Okay, this is not the NBA. I'm gonna need you to tone it down, okay? Dude, this is like what your mom tells us, man. She said, you boys playing too rough. I said, we gotta be a beast. Yeah, that's true. I gotta beat the beast. That's very I true. I beat the beast. <laughs> I'm a beast. <laughs> On and off the court. Yeah. 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 Let's get ready to go. Wait, I don't wanna go home. I wanna keep playing. Don't you have school work to do? No, I already did it all. Please, let me stay. <sighs> all right then. I'll let you stay a little longer. But don't forget, you can't fail any of your exam or you're not going to- I know, I know. I can't go to basketball camp. That's right. Do you want to go home with mom? Yeah. Okay. See you later, cry baby. Jay. What? Stop it. 
What's the shirt? These really do be like real life. I'm on the court hanging out with my friends. You know what I mean? Foxy, Boxy, Thick Shark, Rocky, Ghosty, Sticky Kane. We're chilling. I had to go like, uh, 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 and he just goes, holds his mommy's hand, walks away, bro. I, I, mean, I, I mean, I don't know. But this is pretty <laughs> interesting. So the boy really wants to go to basketball camp. But if he fails his exam, he's not going to get to go. So we're going to yeah. find out. Is he going to pass or fail? Hey. Let's see some moves. Yeah. Okay, babe, you can make it. Swoosh! Man, I'm already unstoppable. Imagine how good I'll be at the basketball camp. You're so lucky you get to go. My mom said the tickets were too expensive. It's probably because Lethal Shooter's gonna be there. That's the whole reason I signed up. I saw on Instagram, he's training Drake too. But even with Lethal Shooter's help, you still won't be able to beat me. Yeah, yeah, he had the same dribble technique I do. And I always give Justin the L because that's all he takes. You don't, nah, mm -hmm. when he never, never goes nah, against me. Nah, nah, yep. nah, yep. nah. We might have to settle this at the end. Oh, oh, okay, okay then, okay then, <laughs> easy. You still won't be able to beat me. Yeah, right. Wanna bet? Bet. All right, let's go. Let's go. My arm! Ugh. Oh, stop whining. Nah, that's not whining. He just hurt his friend. Wow, he shoved him to the ground. Who would do that? Who would do that? I don't know who would do you that. You push me all the time in the video. <laughs> <laughs> don't. You hurt my arm. Man, for real? Oh my God. I, I didn't mean to. <sighs> Your mom's right. Sometimes you are too aggressive. Where are you going? I'm going home. Come on. Don't be like that. Mikey. Man, so you can see this guy got a real competitive spirit. He wants to win. But at the same time, you got to be nice to your friends, man. It's just a game. You can't be hurting other people, man. That's not cool. Right now, I wonder, because I think this is the kid that's going to try to fake breaking his arm or something. So I wonder how he's going to do that. Let's find out. Wow. You're such a nerd. Who studies before school? Leave me alone. I'm getting ready for the exam. Leave me alone. I'm studying for the ex exam. What exam? The one in English, Einstein. Wow. Bro, they're in English class. That's what Adam failed. I think he forgot about the exam. Bro. Wait, how is he in the same class as his younger brother? Maybe it's like a mix of age groups or something. Well, we're in the same class, and you're my younger brother. Yeah, by like my, half a uh, second. Uh, I mean it. Bad you mean it. Hey. Stop, you're doing what you're doing. <laughs> Don't. What exam? The one in English, Einstein. That's the day. I, I thought it was next week. No! Hey, boys, are you ready to go? We're picking up Mikey on the way, so we should leave now. Mom, how are you today? I'm good, thanks. Why are you being so nice? Oh, no reason. Hey, listen, I was thinking, when was the last time we spent some quality time together, you know? Me and you. Mano, hey, mano. That's what Adam does to his mom. How do I man know, bro? Adam just show mommy. me exactly what happened. Yeah, so Adam goes Break to his mom. mom. He says, Mommy, when's the last time we spent some time together? <laughs> That's what he does, just like in the video. It sounds like you're so good at doing it, you might have some practice as well. I don't do that, I just watch you do it. Uh huh. That came real naturally. What? <laughs> I out with your mom. We go hang out and do cool stuff. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I do that, yeah, oh yeah. I was thinking, how about I skip school today and just hang out with you instead? Hmm, let me guess, you have an exam you're trying to get out of. What? No, there's no exam. No? Then why is Isaac studying his note cards, hmm? Because he's a dork, and that's what dorks do. Nice try, you're not getting out of this one. Mom. Now let's go. Mom, there's no let's exam. Let's go.
Mom! Okay, yo, so that's kind of interesting, you know. It's kind of messed up. He shouldn't make fun of his little brother calling him a dork. Dork! Mm -hmm. Because there's no point, dude. His passion is for basketball. That's cool. Maybe his brother's passion is for school. You gotta respect that, man. Now, how do you think this video is gonna end? Well, I think it's gonna do what you said. He's gonna try and break his arm and pretend to get out of the exam. I think what might happen is he's gonna get caught faking, and then it's gonna be his brother that gets to go to the, to the basketball camp. I bet his brother's a beast on the court, bro. Yeah, we're gonna find out, guys. And then his brother gonna get to spend time with his mom, bro. <laughs> See? You do it too! <laughs> I knew it! <sighs> Gotta find a way out of this test. Maybe you should just take it. And roll my chances of going to basketball camp, Mr. Dorky Worky? Yeah, right. Open up! Whoa, don't tell me that's wrong. I told you I wasn't playing around yesterday. You really hurt your arm that bad? Uh, yeah. He broke his arm yesterday and he just walked up and walked away? That would hurt so bad. Hey, I don't even know if that's possible. If you break your arm, you nah, you're not getting up off the ground like that. Yeah. That's messed up. His friend broke his arm, bro. Yeah, don't ever do that. The nah. only thing I ever do to Justin is sometimes break his ankles on the court. But that's just when I do, do some when really I, cool- I thought, uh-huh. I thought you were going to say, oh, dad, yeah, dude, break my mommy's heart. <laughs> Neither of which are true. <laughs> You neither break my ankles on the court nor your mommy's heart. All right, what did you say? All right, we gonna need to have some basketball. <laughs> a little 1v1. Okay. You're gonna regret everything you just said. All right. Yeah. You're not playing basketball today? Are you kidding? Eh. If it weren't for these payments, probably wouldn't even be able to hold a pencil. Man, that sucks. That's messed up. This kid didn't even say sorry or anything. It's his fault. Yeah. He just said, yikes. What? Yikes. And he's already, I can just tell he's already thinking, how do I get out of taking this test? Whoa. Yeah, but the only good thing is, I won't have to do school for a long time. Hey. Because you can't write? I think you're smarter than you look. Man, I wish I didn't have to. Bruh. That's it! Do you have any more of those slings? Yeah, my mom brought some home from the hospital she works at. Why? <laughs> Let me get one. <laughs> Woo! This is a perfect excuse not to take today's exam. Hey yo, I thought you were- Hey yo! Hey, wow! Yo. I'll be right back. Alright. Mom's gonna know you're faking it the second she sees you in that sling. I'm not planning on putting it on until after she drops us off, Einstein. It's still not gonna work. You know what mom says, what happens in the dark always comes to light. You're gonna get caught. You always do. As long as you don't see anything, she'll never know. So, I suggest you should keep your mouth shut. Uh, there you go. I know what's gonna happen, bro. I'm a predicty right here, bro. All right, guys, check this out. This is impressive. He's gonna get out of school, but how you go to basketball camp if you have a broken arm? You know what I mean? Oh, <laughs> right. You can't be hooping if you can't even lift the ball. That's what I'm saying. If you're injured, you can't play basketball either. Oh. He's gonna. He, he should have just taken the test. Yeah. He really should have. Oh, Jay. What happened to your arm? Oh, um. I spent my wrist yesterday playing basketball. Oh no. I heard Mikey got hurt, but I didn't realize you did too. Yeah, my mom had to take me to the hospital last night and everything. Oh dear. Luckily, the pain meds are helping, but uh, they do make me feel a little loopy. Hmm, poor thing. Here you go, Isaac. You can go ahead and get started. Well, uh, look, Jay. About the test, we can always reschedule. No, 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 no. I studied really hard for this. I'm still gonna take it. Okay, um, are you sure? It's a lot of writing and we can always postpone it till you're better. That's okay, Mrs. Anderson. I don't really hate to miss this. Well, I appreciate your enthusiasm. Okay, you get started and if you have any problems, you just let me know, okay? All right. What? She was gonna let him skip it and he took it anyways. What's going on? I don't know, but his smile right now makes me think he's up to something. He got something up his sleeve. He sometimes make that little smile. But I know you got a little sneaky, sneaky plan. When, when I see the fridge open. 
<laughs> at 3 a.m. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> As I walk my way to the fridge. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? It's so fun. <laughs> Yeah, laugh it up, man. Get your laughs out now, because you ain't going to be laughing on the court. <laughs> This is a lot harder than I thought. Well, I appreciate you trying. But honestly, Jay, it's understandable if you want to wait and take this when you're better. Oh, wait, let me try writing with my left. I'm so sorry, Mrs. Anderson. I really didn't want to miss this test. It's admirable that you even tried. Dude, so we actually got out of the exam. Wow. Hey, team, team, fall in, fall in, team. Come on, hustle up, hustle up. All right, so I have a very exciting announcement for you guys. We have a very special guest. So I want you to give a warm welcome to the one and only Chris Lethal Shooter Matthew. Get excited. Lethal Shooter? Yeah. Yo! Coach. I can't believe it's him. Uh, good to see you, man. It's been a long time. It's been years. Hey, you guys know I used to coach Chris right in our school gym. Okay, so this is the coach who's gonna be at the basketball camp that the kid was really excited to meet. Yeah, so he must be like super famous and teach you how to play basketball. Dude, but he's still got his cast on. He can't do anything. Oh. Bro. Chris is gonna be your special coach for the day, okay? Now, I know you're gonna give Chris the same respect that you give me. Chris, take it away. Thanks, coach. Everybody, bring it in, bring it in, bring it in. Right now, we're gonna work on our layups. Left hand layup and right hand layup. This hand. Hey, coach, is it okay if I play too? What about your arm? Oh, this little thing? It's really not that serious. I can easily take it off. Watch. Uh, I don't think that that's such a good idea. You sure? Voila, see? I'm fine. Uh. Okay, sure, yeah. Nah, his teacher's gonna walk in and see him. Oh, no. man, yeah, or his mom. What? It's either gonna be the teacher or the mom. Bro. Yeah, go get dressed. Yes! <laughs> man, that's not fair. I wanna play too. At least you get to watch me. You might learn a thing or two. This kid roasting his friend after he broke his arm? I think he's gonna learn a valuable <laughs> lesson about being nice to people. Yeah, man, you can't do this. Come on. All right, let me see your shot. Money! Nice shot, but let me see you do that again. All day, son. Two for two? You're coming to my basketball camp, right? Yes, sir. I got a deal for you. If you make this three-pointer, I'm going to give you one-on-one -on -one training. Seriously? Seriously. OK. They don't call me J all day for nothing. Let's go. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe this. I called it! No way, wait, what's the teacher doing oh, here? No. Mrs. Anderson. They just told me you were here. It is oh, so man, good. Oh, man, it's good to see you, you too. This place brings back so many memories. <laughs> well, you played a lot of hours in this gym. It surprises me how good the basketball players are here now. This one kid, he can shoot so great. Him, right here, he can shoot so good. Jay. Hey, Mrs. Anderson. What happened to your sling? I, uh, you see, I, uh, um, I, uh, he took some pain pills. Yeah, that's it. So they helped me for a while, but now they were off. So my arm's starting to hurt again. Sorry, buddy. Which is why I was leaving. Hmm. Anyways, I better go put my brace back on. I, I'll see you guys later. Wait, wait, wait. Are we still good for that one-on-one -on -one session? Yup, I'll be there. I should be all healed up by then. Bye. Man, I can't believe you get to play with Lethal Shooter. So lucky. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if I was hanging out with him and Drake soon, too. You just saw a master at work. Boy! Ugh, 
This thing itches, bro. Maybe you should take it off. You don't want your mom seeing it. Good for it. I'll see you tomorrow. Oh my gosh, no, no, no. Don't Wait. put it away, put it back on. Miss Anderson's oh, coming. Okay, okay. Shoot. Yo, help me out, help me out. Okay. Hey, boys. Okay. How are you feeling? Uh, not so good. Yeah, not good. My arm really hurts. Probably wasn't a good idea to play earlier. You got that right. Oh, hey, there's your mom. I'm gonna go say hi. Oh, no! Oh, he's stuck in a difficult situation. He gotta keep it on in front of the teacher, but he can't let his mom see it. Oh, sticky, sticky, sticky. What would you do, Ed? What would you do in this situation? What I would do is probably cry. <laughs> and just hope that that just distracts everyone. <laughs> yeah. Good idea, Adam. Excuse me, Mrs. Anderson. Would you please assist me with his class, please? It's urgent. Okay, I'll be right there. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Oh my god, that was so close. Oh, he, yeah, oh shit. What's up, guys? Oh, Mikey, I'm so sorry your arm is in a brace. Your mom told me what happened. Thanks. You did try to warn us. Mm-hmm. Jay. What are you doing? Hey, mom. Uh, sorry, I, I was putting something away. Come on, let's get out of here. Well, hold on, where's Isaac? I do not know, but can me and Mikey please go sit in the car? Why are you in such a rush? Just, just wait right here and let me go find him. Fine. Hurry! Wait, get back on! Miss Anderson's coming! <laughs> <laughs> Put it on, take it off, put it on, take it off. Oh. <laughs> it's a sticky situation, bro. Yeah. I think you're right. I think the best solution is just start crying. I think that's Honestly, what I would do. That's, yeah. yeah. Well, you do that in most situations. And it works. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cover me, cover me. Uh, okay, okay. Sorry about that. Hey, where did Jay's mom go? Uh, she went to get Isaac. Sorry, you missed her. I have nothing to do. I'll just. I'll just wait here until she comes back. Uh, she's probably gonna be gone for a long time. I don't wanna make you wait. Yeah. Okay, well, if that's the case, I'll just get going. So, I hope your arm feels... <gasps> wait a minute. Wasn't your brace on the other arm? Huh? No, no. It was on the right arm. And I specifically remember that because you were trying to write with your left hand and you couldn't. Uh, Why did you switch arms? She's a genius, bro. She's a private detective, bro. How does she know that, bro? Maybe she is Einstein. What? Yeah, I would not have got that at all. I would have still been crying. Yeah. The teacher literally cracked that, like, so fast. Uh, dude, why don't they go? You know be smart is if he just sat in the car. Like, why are you standing out here? Go! Run in the car! Yeah! Why did you switch arms? Well, that's because the truth is, he hurt both arms. Both arms. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, you know, I'm just trying to alternate them because I only have one brace. Is that so? Yep. Anyways, Mikey and I better get- What happened to your arm? <laughs> oh, oh my God. Oh, my what? Oh, where's Isaac? Don't change the subject. What happened to your arm? I uh, heard it playing basketball. Wait a minute. You didn't know? that he hurt his arm? You told me your mom took you to the hospital last night. I what? Why would you? Don't tell me that you made up an arm injury to get out of an exam. Hey, the whole house of cards is tumbling. Wow. He, he, he built a house of lies and it'd be crumbling down. His entire plan is shattering right before his eyes. Bro. And now he's gonna get in trouble. He, 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 he. He about to get it now. No! Uh, you were faking it all this time. I can explain, you see- Save it. You are in so much trouble, young man. I am so sorry he lied to you. Sadly, I should have questioned him more. I'll deal with this when we get home. Would it be possible for him to take the exam tomorrow? Yes, but I don't have anything going on, so I would be happy to give him the test right now. 
Well, that sounds like a fabulous idea. Uh, what? Oh. No, mom, please. I'm not ready to take that test. I don't want to ruin my chances of going to basketball camp. Oh, oh, you still thought you were going to basketball camp? After that stunt, even if you get a perfect score, you're not going. Yes, I am. No, you're not. But Lethal Shooter said he coached me one-on-one. -on -one. Oh, that's too bad. You shouldn't have lied. You should have known. What happens in the dark always comes to light. That's right. Come on, Jay. Let's go take that test. Since Jay isn't going to basketball camp anymore, do you think I can have his ticket? Please? You really think I don't know where he got this from? It's the exact same as yours. Uh, no it's not. Yes, it is. Okay, but he asked me for it. It doesn't matter. That makes you a culprit. Just wait until your mom finds out about this. She got a title on him! Wow! Everyone's just getting in trouble. Except for Isaac. Isaac! Isaac Newton. Yeah. <laughs> What's so funny? Nothing. He's gonna get to go to basketball camp and he got A's. Yeah, you've been going to basketball camp. Yeah. Yeah, Justin has his own private basketball teacher who's just Bugs Bunny. What? He just puts on Space Jam and just watches Yeah, watch yeah, and what? I learned a lot. <laughs> You're just jealous you weren't allowed to see that movie. And you're jealous that you get dunked on. <laughs> this is how you be looking on the court. <laughs> And just stand there in fear. All right, guys, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Go check out LankyBoxShop.com. Get LankyBox merch now. Justin, if you're really as good at basketball as you say you are. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. You want to try playing? Oh, you want to do a little 1v1? Yeah. Okay, okay. Well, here we go, Adam. I finally got myself a real basketball. Apparently, the, the old one we had was not official size. <laughs> I didn't know that. You are not official size. I'm official size. Oh, yeah, see, I can do this. <laughs> I bet you bet you're jealous. <laughs> <laughs> I bet make, make, make you jealous. I am not jealous. You came and spit it on like the man. Uh, <laughs> let me show you how it's done. Let me show you how it's done, champ. Alright, if Justin can score in this basket, which is my arms, I will <laughs> Yeah! <laughs>